Banu, you go. Perfect. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? It's harvest time for farmers across the state of Mississippi. So into the tractors and off to the fields they go. And that means you might come face to face with one on your rural roadways. For their safety and yours, please slow down and give these tractors and other farm equipment the space they need. You may even have to move off the road for a moment. Just like you, they want to do their job and return safely to their homes and their loved ones. This message is brought to you by your Delta area Farm Bureau families. Ready to get your money moving? Zelle is fast, safe, and an easy way to send money in minutes to friends, family, and others you trust. And it's now available in the Guarantee Bank mobile app. Enroll today and get your money moving. Guarantee Bank together with Zelle. Guarantee Bank, member FDIC. Transactions typically occur in minutes when the recipient's email address or U.S. mobile number is already enrolled with Zelle. Mobile carrier fees may apply. Available to United States bank account holders only. Terms and conditions apply. The Zelle service is property of Early Warning Services, LLC. Good evening. This is Jonathan Mills with Hank Reichley at Bill Davis Field on the campus of Pillow Academy for a homecoming football contest. Uh, perfect night for football, Hank. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to a good crowd and a uh, good football game. First of all, you're gonna well, let's, let's get some sponsors out of the way before we uh, get into football because uh, sounds we good. We appreciate all them. So uh, as you all uh, enjoy this live stream of production tonight, I uh, want you to remind you that uh, sponsors uh, make this possible. Guarantee Bank, Allstate Insurance, Barry Makemson, Agent, Webster's Food and Drink, Barnes Janitorial, Fresh Laundry, Viking Range Corporation, America's Catch, Farm Bureau, Russell Wilson, Planners Bank, and Chawla Hotels. We also, uh, and Hart Kittle State Farm, I see his name. He'd be mad at us. If we he, well, Hart's. And Bank Plus. Hart uh, Bank Plus is also uh, a sponsor of tonight. Hart Kittle State Farm is as well. Uh, you'll see those scrolling across the screen uh, during breaks and at uh, some timeouts. So thank those guys if you see them. Also thank Hartley Kittle. He has uh, been gracious enough to film for us all year. And John Benuzowitz. Uh, the busiest man at Pill Academy. He has uh, uh, got us all set up here and is the reason we're able to do this too. Absolutely. Um, he's, he's the brains behind the operation. He is the brains. We're just, uh, Jonathan's the looks. <laughs> we're just the flunkies. Um, Hank, we got a, a challenge uh, on our uh, Marty's towing. I don't know if you mentioned Marty's towing. So Marty, uh, he's got the, uh, the big truck down in the end zone. If you're here, just go check it out. Um, as homecoming opponents go, J.A. is uh, – not your typical one, but that's who we got, and that's what we're going to, uh, you know, give it our best shot this week. Uh, Mustangs come in with a record of 4-1. and one. Uh, J.A. comes in a record with, of 3-1, and one, we decided. They had a game canceled early in the season, so they're one game behind. But they lost last week, coming off a loss to MRA, 35-7. Uh, to seven. Mustangs coming off a win, a uh, conference win here against Magnolia Heights. Uh, this is our last non-conference game of the year, I believe, so um, – you know, they all matter, but after this, they really all count towards what your playoff seeding will or will not be. So, um, you know, just your thoughts on, on this game and the season thus far and, and kind of what um, what we expect to see. Well, tonight you, you're in for 
a tall uh, order. But uh, I believe the Mustangs will be up to uh, giving Jackson Academy all they want. Uh, uh, Mustangs have had some success against Jackson Academy over the years. Uh, of course, Jackson Academy leads the series, but uh, in the last uh, five years, the Mustangs have won uh, three of those five ball games. So uh, what we and, and and I don't have that stat in front of me. I actually think it may be for the last five, but um, we we took it on the chin last year. The opening game at Jackson Academy uh, weren't weren't uh, weren't ready to play. They were a good football team, and uh, I say we weren't ready to play. We we got better as the year went on, and uh, faced our one of our toughest tests the first games. JA of course ended up uh, with a pretty successful season last year. They didn't win the state championship, but they did uh, split with their cross time town rival Jackson Prep. Lost to them in the regular series and then beat them in the in the uh, playoffs. Having said all that, I think this is a good JA team. I don't think it's the best JA team that they've ever had, but I certainly think it's a very quality team. They've if you look at their schedule, they're three and one. They've had an open date. I believe that was a cancel game because of the maybe because of weather. Uh, but their their one loss is to MRA, who has uncharacteristically three losses at this point in time, but to really really good football teams. Uh, if you look out there and, and you look at see what JA has done in the uh, 5A games they've played, they they beat Leak, who is the reigning champion. What was that score, Jonathan, in that Leak game? I uh, had it earlier, it but was, uh, it, it was a competitive game. Yeah, 27-13. Yeah, it was competitive for a while. Leak is a good football team. They're probably the top team, if not the second best team in 5A. And then uh, they beat uh, Starkville early on in the season, 37 to nothing. When I look at our schedule, I think that Heritage is remaining. Probably Heritage Academy is the best team we have left on our schedule. But I think Bio and uh, Starkville are both very quality opponents. And to see J.A. beat them 37 to nothing, it tells you that um, this is a pretty good football team. The, the Mustangs will have to do all they can to control the football. That's their, their, their game plan always uh, with that pounded out run game we have, take oppor opportunities to throw the ball when we get a chance when the defense gives them to us. But you got to limit the mistakes. We That's put right. the ball on the ground too many times this year. And, this is a game that will be very difficult to be competitive in or win it if you make those kind of mistakes where you just fumble. Right, and Mustangs took care of the ball a little better last week against Magnolia Heights. We took advantage of some mistakes. Um, you know, Coach Crowder and I talked uh, this week, and from an injury standpoint, we don't have anybody back that was out last week, so you're still doing without some key components, especially up front and on the outside in your defensive backfield. Um, so, you know, you're really going to have to, you know, we talked about this over and over at Hartfield, how you got to, to beat a team um, that's, you know, um, on paper you're probably outmatched, outnumbered. To beat a team like this, you have to have some bounces go your way, and you've got to take advantage of the ones that um, – you got to take care yeah, of the football. That's right. Um, well, you, I don't. I don't believe that JA is uh, probably quite as good as Hartfield. I don't know that for a fact, but um, I think they would certainly be competitive with Hartfield. What, uh, what we did there was we came out and we ran the ball, but we started making mistakes. We had a touchdown call back, and that one got out of hurry, out of hand, in a uh, in a quick hurry. So hopefully, uh, hopefully tonight we'll. Um, Tonight's eliminate those mistakes. Will be given by we'll, um, pause Senior, for the prayer Lola and the Rickett. national anthem and uh, come back with the captains Lord, and the coin toss. We'll be right back. And thank you for allowing us to be here tonight to support these players. We ask you to bless each one of us and especially the coaches, officials, and players. Keep us under the protection of your son, Jesus Christ, and help us to be aware of his presence with us in the game and in life. Amen. Please remain standing, place your right hand over your heart, and face the flag as we honor our country with the playing of our national anthem.
Crowds filing in. As we said, this is our fourth uh, home game, Hank, and uh, even with the away games, we've had just um, – Really looked out with the weather. This just couldn't be any better. <laughs> this uh, is football weather, but not the cold kind of football weather that you think about. I, I, as I was pulling up here, my car said 72 degrees. I think we'll be by the end of the evening, uh, as the game winds down, we'll be in the low 60s. Really nice temperature. Fields in perfect condition. No, no moisture, none expected, and uh, low humidity. Hopefully the mosquitoes will leave us alone. I think they're going to. I think they will. Uh, waiting on the JA team to come out on the field with their captains. Uh, Mustang captains are number 72, Sumner Tackett, number 18, Tate Gailey, number 25, Matthew Nemi, and 55, Lawson Steed. So a uh, um, group of four juniors, good-looking juniors out there uh, who play, get a lot of playing time out there. So, uh, again, we're going to have homecoming festivities at halftime. We will bring those to you uh, if you're not at uh, Bill Davis Field. Uh, a lot of uh, – a lot of festivities been through this week. Homecoming can be a distraction sometimes. There's got a lot of uh, themes and a lot of parties and a half day today. So, you know, uh, I know the coaches and the, are ready to get down to playing football regardless of the opponent. So, JA's uh, entering the field. So we'll have their captains and uh, coming out. I mean, yeah, you got the roster over yeah. there, Hank. What are you uh, like, looking like? You know, we've seen times when JA comes in town, they've got 80 players. Uh, they have 56 players listed on the roster. That's only about 10 more than the, the Mustangs have. Of course, we have a few guys uh, that are listed on the roster that aren't able, aren't available tonight, and I suspect they do too. Matter of fact, I know that last week against MRA, uh, JA primary running back went down. They'll be out, will not be available tonight. You got the number 51 and number one, Hank. Wilson Etherly is number 51, and I have a feeling I know his father because uh, I went to school with a guy named Wilson Etherly. Oh, okay. And uh, Davis Lee, number one. Um, you know, we talked about the, the schedule uh, at JA coming off a loss to MRA, looking forward to next week. They got Greenville Christian, uh, and then they have Hartfield, and then they get into the meat of their schedule. So, you know, um, we always talk about in the college ranks whether this is a, a trap game, and, you know, they're looking at Pilla, and, um, you know, it would be um, easy for them to maybe say, we're just going to go up there and, and walk through it, and they've come up here and gotten beat before. We've yeah. brought other teams. So, you know, you still got to play the game, and uh, you got a good crowd here. You're going to have some energy. Hopefully the Mustangs play with energy. Can you know, That's what we did at Hartfield. We came out and played well the first couple of drives, got behind the sticks, and then it kind of got away from us. Yeah. And, you know. The, this J.A. is is a – we're going to be uh, – we're going to come <coughs> fired up and ready to play, I can assure you that. I think this is a team that we match up better than we do with, say, an MRA or a, or a Hartfield um, just from a sheer size standpoint. Right. They're not they're not huge. They're certainly not small, but they're not as, as large as what we saw down at Hartfield. I think that uh, the key to this game uh, will be like it is to most games for us, keep our offense on the field, control the ball, limit their scoring opportunities on offense. And if you do that, you're going to have a successful homecoming night That's right. uh, here at, at Bill Davis And this will be a good um, kind of measuring stick to see from, you know, two or three weeks ago what you, improvements you've made against a big 6A school. You know, we talk, we kind of bunch all these Jackson schools together with MRA, JA, Prep, and Hartfield now. You know, you want to you want to see how you measure up against the best and the biggest schools in the state, and this is going to be an opportunity to do that. So, yep, absolutely. Mustangs no are gonna Mustangs going to receive the opening kick uh, and defend the – North end zone. Here they go. Uh, here come the Mustangs onto the field. Fireworks and the cannon. Hopefully that's not the last time we hear those tonight, Hank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't believe it's going to be either. Uh, Mustangs are coached by Jim Crowder, assisted by um, Steve Gleason, Matt Hudson, Tommy Acey, Nick Serio, Neil Turner, uh, with a strength and nutrition coach, Chris um, Wilson. Chris Wilson. Uh, J.A. is coached by Lance Pogue, if you guys are familiar with uh, the South Panola days. And uh, he was been in Eupora, and then he was at South Panola and won plenty of state championships in the public school ranks. So, as many of them do when they get certain um, tenure in the public school ranks, they come to the private yep. school. And uh, and he's having success. I think this is maybe his third or fourth year over there. So, he's kind of building his program over there, uh, similar to what Coach Crowder wants to do here. So. Yep, no doubt, no doubt. But to uh, be uh, two teams that are well coached, Mustangs will receive. They'll be working left to right on your screen. Uh, excuse me, right to left on your screen. Back deep to receive be Nelson Hodges. And he'll be flanked uh, just short of him by number six, Dane Sanford. 
and number 21, Hayes Bennett. And if you recall last week, uh, Hayes almost got him a touchdown. I think you can go back. We and, called it good. Yeah, you yeah. and I called it good, but we're not wearing <laughs> with our monitor. Yeah, again, we're not calling black. And, we're not wearing black and white, so what we say doesn't matter. A squib kick, if you will. John Heston Powers is going to take it at the 31. That's where the Mustangs will take uh, their first snaps of the game. So pretty good field position starting out. I think that probably tells us that J.A. watched the film. That's right. And they remember that last year Hayes Bennett took a touchdown back for a uh, kickoff return back for a touchdown in that game. Mustangs is going to start with Britt Reichley. Uh, Sumner Tackett over the ball. Uh, Drew Lamb is going to go under center. I uh, believe it's probably going to be Walker Wood and Dane Sanford in the backfield. Drew Lance back to pass. Has a man open, and Hayes had to jump a little bit for that ball, but got his hands on it pretty good. Uh, he that did, a little high. Drew, Drew takes a big windup. He's a pitcher right, by, a uh, by, minute, <laughs> by trade, and he, was, he took a big windup there. I got a little nervous because I was afraid the defender was going to break on that ball, but – just, just a little too high. Second down and ten. Lamb in the shotgun formation now. Going to give it up the middle to Dane Sanford. Has a little bit of a hole. Going to get two or three yards out to the, about the 34-yard line, maybe the 33. Dane the ball carrier for the Mustang. Pretty good collision right there, about two yards up the field. Pass the line of scrimmage. Yeah, Dane's going to earn every yard he gets tonight, and he's, he's uh, well-equipped to do that. And the guy tackling him is going to earn the tackle. <laughs> he's going to feel it tomorrow, too. Uh, they ought to put an asterisk by that one and give them a little bit more. Uh, Hayden Pilla, Lawson Steed, J.C. Gerard uh, round out the offensive line. Brock Makemson, uh, Hayes Bennett, and now Nelson Hodges is going to come into the game to play. Those things are going to need to hurry. They've had a lot of confusion getting this playoff. There's only six seconds remaining on the play clock. Lamb takes a shotgun, drops back to pass. It's going to be wrapped up there by yeah. two Raiders, number 21 and number 17. So just uh, – didn't have enough time to get back there and get set up back there. Had a man coming a very, in there pretty good. Did a very poor job blocking there. Very poor job blocking there. <clears throat> and Drew's got a – he. I don't know if he had anywhere to throw it to. He was still inside the tackle box, but he should have seen that blitz coming and Sanford hopefully got away a, from it. Punts a high ball, going to come down about midfield and take a Mustang bounce, and uh, number five is going to – let it roll inside the 40 to about the 39-yard line. Yeah, you get, get yourself in a situation there where the J.A. defense was just had their ears pinned back on the ends and just blew around our defenders – or our – excuse me, our linemen. And Drew didn't have much time there, so that's not the way you wanted to start. But let's see if the Mustang defense can do anything. J.A. is coming in with a shotgun formation, one back set. Three wide receivers and an F back. Handoff is 227. We get a hand on him. Uh, Hayden Pillow gets a hand on him. Britt Rockley finishes him off. Good job by the Mustangs. Number 27, Marcus Harris with the carry. Marcus Harris, a 5'10, 230 pound senior running back. Where's the quarterback out there? 13. No. That was Marcus Harris. I was. Uh, I was told he was not playing. Maybe that was the wrong person. Pass is complete to number 16. He stuck immediately there, out there by John, John Heston. John Heston, nice, nice form tackle. Kept the ball in front of him. Quarterback is Tate Collins, 6'3", 210 senior. So, I believe he came over from a new school last year to replace a very talented quarterback that – J.A. had last year and Jackson Kahn, who now pitches for the Bulldogs. That should be an they illegal look, they motion. Look like he was moving. Yeah, yeah they're going to get it. He was, he, he was just trying to get down in the stance and happened to, the team happened to be already set. That a push back J.A. Raiders. by five yards. Yeah, the uh, tight end over there got a little antsy and jumped a little quick. So that's going to back him up to the 40-yard line. Third down and nine. Big uh, play here for the Mustang defense to force a three and out and uh, get off the field. Tate Dubard that's over here to the near side as defensive back. Hank, he had a, a really good game in the late uh, quarter of last week. So he he's did. getting rewarded he did. by a start tonight. Collins rolls to his right. He's got plenty of time and he's going to move back to the middle and he's going to be brought there to, down by 
Walker Wood and Britt Reichley. It's going to be behind the sticks. We're going to call that a sack. Number 10, Tate Collins keeps the ball. Good. That was a coverage sack. Yeah, I agree. He's brought down by number 52, Britt Reichley, and number 7, Walker Wood. What you want to say, you know, we've seen a lot of. Uh, yeah, that was a coverage sack. And, um, yeah, I think we're, gonna, we're only going to get better at our yeah. no, defending the pass. Mm -hmm. so. And you'll need to if you're going to be successful later in the season. Number 13. Scott Swally is back to punt from his 25-yard line. Hayes Bennett is back to receive the punt. Good-looking kick. Hayes is coming up. He, Ooh, dangerous catch. Me. He did, but he got the sidelines, gets across the 30 to about the 31. You never like to see a guy catch the ball with his palms up at the sky. That's the way that one looked. But great stand there by the Mustangs. It was uh, it was good, uh, good pressure by the line, good coverage, good tackling. And uh, that's when you when your team goes backwards on offense when they have the opening possession to force the same to the uh, to the other offense is, is a big deal there. That's right. Didn't have a big momentum switch. That's right. Good start for the Mustang defense. Lamb as Sanford and Nelson Hodges and Nelson back about five yards deep. High snap. Flag on the play. A little jittery. Mustangs are gonna. Get pushed back to the 24, a false start penalty. You know, you can't – start on the Mustang. 10 yards is going to be hard enough to get against this crew tonight, Hank. You're not going to be able to take sacks and uh, and take penalties, so you got to kind of keep the ball moving in the direction. No doubt. First down and 15 for the Mustangs. Lamb calls for the ball, gets it, gives it to the first man through. Is Dane Sanford. He is bottled up right there. Dane Sanford, the ball carrier. For a loss of, let's call it two He's or three yards. Seven, Clayton White. Take it down. Second down, 17. You don't want to, uh, probably going to be pretty protective of the football down here, Hank. I'm trying to, who'd they say made that tackle? I didn't see it. As a <laughs> nose guard. Lamb rolls back to pass. Mm. Couldn't get wound up there. He's going to be sacked out at the 10-yard line. Number Mustangs Lamb moving in the Lamb wrong direction. Going to be way behind the sticks here for third down. Ball down by number 21, Max Melinda. He was rolling to his, uh, I guess, to his left and was third trying down. to get the ball up to his right, and there was a defender right there. Wouldn't let him get uh, wound up. Number 21 and I think there, if he'd Max gotten Melinda. set, I don't know where he had to throw it other than out of bounds and save the sack. So Mustangs are going to probably run this ball here, Hank. I don't think they're going to take any chances putting the ball in the air this deep in their own territory. Lamb gives it to Sanford. He's got a good hole over here. He makes a good block, makes a man miss, and stays on his feet across the 40-yard line. They're going to call him out of bounds. Uh, Number six, Dane Sanford, the ball carrier for the I couldn't tell. Let's see on the monitor here. They're going to call him out of bounds short of the first down. Uh, that was really close, hard to tell. You can't tell from here, but body-wise, he didn't look like yeah, he was he that far his, uh, over. He runs out of bounds at the That's a shame, and he kind of got a little extracurricular shove at the end of it, and they, we That's didn't fine. get fortunate for him to call that either. You know, good news, bad news, you didn't get the first down, but you got out of your own territory a little bit and uh, going to be That's able right. to flip field position a little bit. Dane Sanford with a good punt uh, ought to be able to get it well across the 50-yard line here. It's going to be a timeout Mustangs. Timeout on the Mustangs. So, uh, well, that play was well blocked right there. Yeah. I think he had a good run, I mean, good hole, had a good block on the outside by the receiver and just ran out of real estate over here on the near side. Yeah, I would love to see the kind of replays you get on ESPN on that one because body-wise it didn't look like his momentum carried him over there. It looked like he had straightened up before he got to the sidelines. Yeah. Well, that's like you say, you like, you like getting that 20-plus 20, 20 yards back. We'll have to check with the Raider Network and see on the instant replay. So we got a couple more cameras than we do. But yeah, we could pull that up. <laughs> Sanford back to punt. Uh, hate to burn the time out there before you punt, but I don't think we had the right personnel out there. So Yeah, Coach Crowder didn't look like he was happy about something and can't imagine we were Number doing anything five, other than Deep punting. Freeze, Trey Adams in the bad snap. Dane's going to fall on the ball. Not sure it was – too terribly high, but it was no, it high was, enough. It was high enough, and he uh, kind of misjudged it on the jumping. Well, unfortunately, Dane's hard work there uh, was all for naught, and the ball is going to end up about where it was, and the Raiders will have a short field. 
and will put the Mustangs defense in a precarious situation. Ball's going to be spotted on the 17 yard yeah, line 17. of the Mustangs. But that's a turnover that uh, we want. We talked before that we really have to avoid, particularly playing a team that's. You don't need to give any mistakes to, obviously. Yeah. Quarterback gives to 27. He is, uh, gets down inside the 10 yard line or right at the 10. Couldn't tell who tackled him there. Marcus Harris put the ball for the Raiders. Marcus Harris, the ball carrier. Maybe Hayes. Harris is a ball carrier again inside the five, pushing the pile towards the goal line. They're going to call him down just short around the one. Harris, the ball carrier for the Raiders. He's brought down by number seven, Walker Wood. Raiders going First fast here, not letting the Mustangs get uh, set up. Tate Collins gives it to Harris. Number he walks into the end zone. Harris takes it in for the touchdown. Well, that one's um, that one hurts. Yeah, you know, you put your defense in a tough spot there. 17 yards to go. Uh, so the Raiders go three plays. 17 yards. PAT is good. The extra point is good. So that was a mistake. The Mustangs uh, didn't need to didn't need to make there on the punt, uh, snapping over your punter's head after a good positive, I guess third down play that got you kind of out of your own end zone. And you know one of the things we talked about you couldn't do. Yeah, you so. can't can't make those kind of mistakes. It's just the ball was snapped too high. Uh, Mustangs are playing a little bit jittery. Looks to me like so far, and they're going to need to get that behind them and. Just get to executing. So for the second time tonight, Jackson Academy will kick off. They'll be kicking from their own 40. The six minutes, 13 seconds remaining in the first quarter. They'll be kicking it to the Mustangs who trail seven to nothing. Nelson Hodges deep to receive. First time they squib kicked it to John Heston Powers and they've done the same this time. They're not gonna call him down. John Heston's gonna get the ball out. Near the midfield, it was about the 48-yard line. That was good timing. He, got, he had to kneel. It was a squib kick, Number but it was a line drive. On the return and the he Mustang. actually fielded it as it was flying and in the air. He was real it close to having his knee down. Yeah, too. but he, he, had to, he had to get in front of it. And he got his knee up before he caught it and was able to tack on about, oh, I don't know, well, 10, 10 yards. That's right. Held on to the ball. Mustangs will have... Great field position starting at their own 48-yard line. That's right. You know, uh, you get some uh, those kind of plays, those sacks, so those snaps over here, those are kind of drive killers, and you just got to have positive. You can't get them third and eight, third and 12, third and 15s. Uh, so Stay that's in front what the, of the Mustangs chains. have a couple of positive plays and then one big negative play. That's kind of been what they've done against some uh, stronger opponents this year. So this is not what – You've got an opportunity with a very short field yeah. to put some runs together. And the Mustangs have done that against yeah. bigger teams. You know, they hadn't yeah. been able to move the ball, just haven't been consistent enough to do it. So, If you look at this defensive front for J.A., they're athletic looking. They're not huge, but they're not small. And they move well. They've been very quick getting off the ball. And so far we've lost the line of scrimmage, and we're going to have to figure out a better way to let these plays develop, get some blocking, make some holes. That's right. Lamb's going to give the ball to Nelson Hodges, his first carry of the night. He's going to get good first down yardage to cross the 50 to the Number JA three, Nelson 49. With the carry for Pick the up a three. Second and seven. Nicer hole there. It wasn't, <clears throat> there wasn't as good of penetration there. You know, looking at the stats this week, and I forgot to bring them with me, but uh, kind of do some cumulative stats. And Nelson is one of the team leaders in passing and rushing and receiving. So oh, he's down. kind of a – and tackles. He's got a matter. bunch of tackles too, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's having a great season. That's I like Good that. throw and catch there. Walker Wood on the receiving end of that. Quick hitter. Uh, well, Drew got, got it out in time. Walker Wood, Walker Wood across he's the – tackled uh, by number six, Chris uh, Robinson. Walker was right there. Down, in that, in the, 
just slipped out in the in the flats and that'll help keep them honest but these plays that were taking a long time to develop we just weren't able to hold up the defense long enough uh, like the short that's right. Pass. And if you remember the, the first game, you know, Drew Lamb was the target that was a tight end. We really hadn't filled that gap with yeah. anybody consistently. So, you know, you kind of got to find a, a short target to uh, – short yardage target. Yep. Uh, Nelson, another carry across the 42, Nelson, the ball carrier. 38-yard line. He tackled by number three, Ethan Archie. One-yard gain, second down. I stand corrected. I, I went to my source and – as we all know, Marcus Harris is not hurt. He is playing. He's a good, good player. Is your tr source a trusted source? No more. No longer <laughs> trusted. <laughs> Lamb takes a snap, gives it to Sanford. Not much doing there. Maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Sanford with the ball for the Mustang. Be a crucial play here. Third and eight for the Mustangs. Probably – Four down territory. I would think so, long, especially as long as you keep the sticks. Third down. Uh, getting positive yards here on this play. Yeah, unless you were to have a big loss. But you certainly want to pick it all up or some of it. Lamb throws it to John Heston and uh, yeah, that just was dropped that ball over there, Hank. Hit him in right in the – it right did. Hand. I think it may got on him a little quicker than he wanted yeah, to Yeah, it, it, it was broken up by pretty four, quick. It, it was only going to be about a two-yard gain if, if we did catch it. He was well defended. Pretty sure he was going to be wrapped up right there. That's right. So it'll be fourth and eight. Mustangs line up here. Going to have to do some uh, good blocking up front for this to be a run play, so I probably would uh, – Anticipate the Mustangs putting the ball in the air here. Lamb back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's got room. He's going to step up and run, and he gets uh, mm, good to try. the 35-yard line. Good hard running, but just didn't have Number enough. 12, Drew Lamb keeps the ball. Going to get to the 36, turnover on downs there. Once again, though, uh, look downfield here. Drew, he stepped up in the pocket nicely after being pressured, and uh, I don't know that. I assume there was no one open down the field because he, he tucked it, ran it. And Injured, on uh, second or third down, that's that's good. But that's on right. fourth, when you're fourth and eight, you can't pick up just five. At that point, you know, uh, probably just throw it down the field and see what happens. Yeah. But that's kind of not what you're taught. You got Injured Raider on the field. It was the player that drew, uh, that made the tackle. I can't see his number right now, but he's – if I had to guess, it like he probably injured his shoulder there. Drew kind of put his head, head down and um, – yeah, that was a good hard finish there by Drew trying to fight for the first down. Looks like on, based on the spot, he only came up about a yard short. No, that's the first. They've already moved the sticks. Oh, the okay. Side, so. so he was zero short then. If I, I guess my eyes aren't. He had to get to the. No, I'm saying the ball is the ball is not spotted on the. It's not spotted yet. Oh, okay. It's just laying there. Either that or the chains are wrong because this chain is directly on the yard line. And the that ball spotted at the 36. That's where I had it. Number 40, you can see Adam the chain Kennedy, is actually on the 35. The injured Raider. Right. Now they're moving it. And that chain's going to be extended and all is well with the world. <laughs> First and 10, Raiders. At working the 36 through. yard line. So the Mustangs uh, came up short on the short field, but this will be their third series on defense, and let's see if they can hold the Raiders. Take Collins gives to number two in the jet sweep. He's got a lot of running room over here to the near side, steps out of bounds across the 50 flags, fly. Flag it's going to be uh, – got to think it's a hold depending on – Number two. Came in really, really he late. I suspect it's some extracurricular. Could have been a late hold, but – Well, well designed play, well blocked. Moving the Raiders back, looks like a block. I don't know. He did a, looks like two flags. Going to yeah. be a chop block Offset maybe him. and a hold. Well, yeah. only on, only going to offsetting penalty. Play no, the down again. Now they're both on the Raiders, weren't they? No. 
against us. Uh, I don't know what we did. It was that's the chop. We chop block. Blood. I don't know. We had that deal last year. I didn't know you could yeah. chop block on defense, but yeah. something we didn't do. But so it was a holding, and it then. was all late. Right. Either way, the Mustangs come out. Uh, it looks like they're going to run the same play, and they fake it, and Collins keeps it. Similar success. Going to be tackled over there by Tate Dubard, not before first down yardage. Number 10, gained. Tate Collins with the quarterback keeper. Gained to the 48-yard line. 17, Tate Dubard. Going to be first down for the Raiders. Raiders saw something they liked on this right side, Hank, and uh, went back to the well, uh, read the defensive end over here and kept it that time. Fake to the running back, winds up, throws it to the left side. Nelson Hodges is defending. Ball pass goes incomplete, brings up second and 10. Yeah. Didn't, didn't get a tremendous amount of pressure there, but, uh, of course, we've got a three-man front going. The for the uh, all the Pick Mustang backfield did a really nice job picking up their, their receivers. No one was open. Quarterback really just threw it away. Mustangs going with their usual defensive front, Britt Reichley, Hayden Pilla, and Lawson Steed. Those three have been uh, been good up front all year. Back to pass, throws short. Receiver catches it, makes one man miss, and is going to fall out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Tate Gailey there. Collins pass is called by number 19, Merritt At Nation. the 38-yard line, so he takes down first number down. 18, Tate Gailey. First down for the Raiders. Raiders going fast. Fake to uh, Nelson Hodges did a good job getting in the quarterback's face there. Kind of disrupted that throw. Falls Passing incomplete. Number 27, Marcus Harris. Incomplete. Yeah, Nelson came in hard and forced the quarterback to make a throw a little quicker than he wanted. He yeah. had his man open out in the flat. You know, if I'm the Raiders and you look at the film, you know, the Mustangs aren't sub. They don't sub a whole lot on defense, yeah. Hank. So, they're, you know, going fast is probably by design here. Going to get some uh, – well, Reap some benefits later in the game if it comes to that. <laughs> Collins rolls to his left. Uh, oh. Throws it just over Hayes Bennett. Number two catches it, makes a move inside. Fumbles ball. the ball. He fumbled the ball and they're going to recover. They're going to say he was down, down anyway. Uh, yeah, that was just a really ball nice pass. throw. Great two, touch to right over Hayes Bennett's head. Couldn't tell if that was out. Looks like it was down. Bennett, along with 22, John Hudson Powers. First down for the Raiders. Ball goes down to the 16-yard line. Collins fakes it. Looks like he throws it out in the flats, and 24 is going to walk into the end zone. Beautifully designed. That was good. really good. Uh, number 24, P.J. Green. 24 was lined up in the uh, slot there, and he just swung out. I'm not sure that that wasn't a lateral, just looking at, from our angle, whether he threw it behind the line. Either way, it's a touchdown for number 24 is uh, C.J. Banks. Five seven tenth grader, good well, looking tenth grader. The who made all that happen was 19 Merritt Nations out here blocking. If he doesn't make a block, then the play is totally blown up. Good hustle in there by John Heston. PAT Powers. is good by Scott Swally. So Raiders going to take a 14 to nothing lead, 309 in the first quarter. So. Uh, Raiders kind of doing what we thought they would do, Hank. Well, they're 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 doing uh, they're doing well. We're not, and right. uh, I'm hoping to find some gut jack time here from the Mustangs, and that they don't roll over. That they continue to to work their game, get better, and and you got two touchdowns, one on a short field, one that was a nice drive there. What about? Uh, Ladies 40, and gentlemen, uh, 50, I want to take a minute and thank 64 Matt yards. Meany, president of the Pell Academy Booster Club, and all the But if you're controlling the ball, they do. then they're not, not able to run that Booster offense Club, you just saw that was very, uh, you know, the quarterback's good. He's a good quarterback. He's got Club. good receivers to throw to, got a good running back. Uh, they're executing well. we got to keep them off the field. Right. Because it's a good chance they're going to score a lot of times when they get the ball. You look here, Hank, and you got a – a pile of seniors here, and uh, you know, Coach Crowder and I talked to this week with players out for one reason or another. You know, we're down to about three seniors that are, uh, you know, putting in good minutes oh, no here. Doubt. So, um, asking a lot of our underclassmen to step up and really uh, take some leadership roles with this team. Absolutely, I think you saw that with the captains tonight from the junior class. John, John Heston Powers Heston fields his third one of the night. Uh, 
third punt return is going to get it out to the 37-yard line. Mustangs really need to move this ball down and score and let J.A. know that they're willing to to play. That's right. If they uh, really hadn't seen our running game kind of get going like it has in the past and kind of run downhill on some plays and open up some holes for Dane, he hadn't had a whole lot of rough rushes uh, yet. We've been throwing the ball a little more We're tonight. Back in our, our two F-backs. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Very nice. I like that offense that we put in that formation last week. Brings in. By number five, if we have Adams. any advantage, it's the fact that we've got a nice size backfield, and uh, I like seeing those two blockers Nine in there, with hard runners. Nice big hole there. Good run by Dane to the bring up second and one. It's like Nelson's going to take a direct snap and run it. Got to bounce to the outside. Good. First down. Gain on the uh, second Nelson down play across the, the 50 to the 46-yard line. So Davis Lee will move the chain. First down. What you want to see? A response Mustang. and a good start. I think that may be our – is that our first first down? Um, that's our second first second down. We've first had a down. pass out to Walker Wood. Oh, that's our right. First first down. So that's our second first down of the quarter. I don't know what we're calling this package. We're going to have to name it. I don't know if it's a tight formation. Um do a lot of things out of it. Nelson gives to Sanford, tripped up right behind the line of scrimmage. He gets across the line to about the 45. Sanford with the ball for it the gives you, He's tripped by number 17. It just gives you an Grand opportunity Hooker. to, you know, to Second down. first off with all the linemen, make sure the line of scrimmage doesn't collapse on you. And secondly, you got two lead blockers there. That's right. It's not overloaded to one side or the other. They can't cheat one way. And it puts uh, – the ball and, you know, probably, if not the best, one of your best athletes on the team and Nelson Hodges. <laughs> Nelson did a great job <laughs> just to get the ball away there and uh, Walker did a great job to catch it, but Hodges it's all for about a, seven, Walker Wood yeah, a yard. They called it incomplete. Oh, they called it incomplete. Okay. It looked like down. he caught that ball. Either, either way, it was about a yard or two, but like Nelson had a number 21. Uh, it's going to be Max Walenta right in his uh, – in his grill. Right in his grill when he tried to throw that ball and did a good job of getting that out. So third down here for the Mustangs. Again, a third and long situation. Mustangs are trying to mix things up, Hank. I guess you can uh, applaud that. It hasn't yeah. been successful in throwing it down the field yet. Drew's back to pass. Throws it to Brock. There's some success there. First good. down, Mustangs. Yeah, Brock's been kind of quiet, and not really because he hadn't caught it. He just hadn't been throwing it to him in a couple yeah. weeks, and he is a, 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 a the definition of a possession Brock receiver. Nicholson. He is a possession receiver, yeah. He, uh, he catches he the ball. Five, he did a nice down, job, and look, that was down, thrown into traffic. And that's, uh, that was a good catch, good concentration. Mustangs got a little something working here. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Lamb with Sanford to his left. Going to give it to – and Dane kind of tripped heading to the line. Looked like there was a man, number 17, there waiting on him. And Dane but Sanford with the ball. Never got his momentum he going. Tripped, going to back up to the 36-yard line. Second down. He was going to cut off a 17 and try to sneak up there behind the center and just kind of lost his balance. Easy play for 17, and he didn't get the typical punishment you get from Dane when you're going to tackle him. So, lucky for him. Bring up second and 11. Play clock down to 35 seconds here. Mustangs are going to be content. Yeah, I would be content to let that clock run down about five seconds every time. <laughs> Lamb back to throw. Has him, needs to throw it deep. Ah. Yep. No one – I'm just sitting here looking. As soon as I saw he was wrapped up, I looked down the field, not a soul was open. Oh, well, Hayes was got behind his guy, but that would have had – he would have had oh, to yeah. kind of set up and throw it pretty deep. Exactly. Yeah, he, he would have – he'd have had to heave that one. That's right. Third down. That was the – I think the – that play was designed for Hayes, so – well, De Hayes was so fast, he had already run out of my eyesight. <laughs> that brings us to the end of the first quarter, Hank. 14 to nothing, J.A. Raiders. That'll do it for the first uh, quarter. We'll switch ends of the field with the ball. Got a big third down and 17 play coming up here. So we're going to uh, take a break. Um, let Mr. Benuzowitz run some ads, and we'll be back with the second quarter. Remind everyone for homecoming festivities. I may be an orthodontist, but I know a thing or two about... Perfect. 
Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? It's harvest time for farmers across the state of Mississippi. So into the tractors and off to the fields they go. And that means you might come face to face with one on your rural roadways. For their safety and yours, please slow down and give these tractors and other farm equipment the space they need. You may even have to move off the road for a moment. Just like you, they want to do their job and return safely to their homes and their loved ones. This message brought to you by your Delta Area Farm Bureau families. Ready to get. We're back. Mustangs that have third and 17. Got a man open as Nelson Hodges. Good throw. Nice throw and catch Absolutely. by the Mustangs for the first down. Lamb pass is caught by number two. Really? Let me just tell you. The course, Drew hadn't had a whole lot of time tonight. Robinson. He had enough time there to get his feet set. He made a perfect touch throw and just threw it right out in front of Nelson over the two defenders, let him come to it, and big first down for the Mustangs. And, you know, that may be some combat this pass rush is get him out on the outside. He's got a strong enough arm, yeah, obviously, sure. to throw it. So, um Yeah, it's just going to have to be either quick or he's going to have to roll out of the pocket, looks right. like. Uh, Hodges is going to give it to Sanford. Gets down to about the 11. Sanford takes it up the middle. So Mustangs are fourth, down by number four, fourth four first down Carroll. of the night. Uh, Two yard gain. Big, down. Uh, big moment in the game here, Hank, trying to cut this lead in half. Uh, something you didn't do at Hartfield. You didn't get on the board. Let's get on the board and we'll worry about moving after that. Technically, we got on the board, then it got taken off, that's, if you recall. And <laughs> that's what you don't want to happen here. Put it on the board and let it stick. Timeout, Mustangs, their second one of the night. Crowder, on the Mustang. Coach Crowder didn't see something. Yeah, and if you don't see eye. something you like, you don't want to get yourself in a, a longer situation. You got a real opportunity here. Mustangs on, uh, second and eight, but the ball's on the 11, so they can either score or they can get another first down. I'll take the touchdown. Absolutely. If you're taking orders. Mustang showing some life here. See Juan Carlos is doing his stretches. He, he's, he's hoping he's kicking one for one instead of three. That's right. There is a excellent crowd. I mean, a really, really strong crowd here tonight. Uh, everybody wanted to come out and enjoy homecoming, and this beautiful weather was very inviting. And uh, J.A., as they always do, are filling up their visitor bleachers across the way. Mustang's going to go back in there. Dane is set eight yards deep, Hank. Uh, well, he moves up a little this bit. This is a new formation in the same vein as Hodges our. Hodges under center gives to Sanford and uh, gets across the maybe to the 10-yard line. The difference in that one and, and the one we the put in last week that we've had some success with six, is Robinson. it's a little more obvious Burnham. where you're at least going. and it, 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 I say at least, uh, most likely going. Could be setting up something later, but wanted to run it behind the two big guys, and we're going to be in that formation again. Essentially, you got two – Two fullbacks back behind. Hodges under center, yep. going to roll, we gets a good block. Up. He's wide open, but we couldn't get it out there to him. Yeah, that's what we were doing. We were setting that play up, and John Heston was open in the back of the end zone, but Nelson couldn't see him. He had a quick window to throw it. Nelson Hodges with the ball for the Mustangs. Mustangs will bring the field goal unit out on, out to the, on the field. Brock Magerson is going to hold. Going to set it down at the – Call it the 17-yard line, so 27-yard kick for Juan Carlos. Should have plenty of leg here, Hank. You shouldn't have a problem with leg, no win whatsoever. Good, good snap. snap, good hold. And blocked. Number five came through and blocked it, and uh-oh. 21 has uh, recovered it. He's getting chased out there by Tate Gailey, and there's going to be a flag. I believe that's going to be a – Illegal block on the return. I saw Juan Carlos oh, getting up off the field, and I believe <laughs> saw Juan Carlos uh, adjusting yeah, the helmet. Yeah. Oh goodness! I hope he's okay. The ball to the he got right up, but that was a um, in the NFL they or college they throw that guy out. He caught him. Uh, yeah, he's uh, caught him on the blind side there. 
rubbing his head a little bit. And it Juan Carlos is tough. He's he's right back up. But it's I don't one of those know what ones where you have to pull your helmet back around so you can see. Yeah. Um, so. So really, as far as Phil, I mean, we, we didn't get the three points. He got a he got a good foot on it too. Yeah. Um, five just came through and and blocked it by jumping with one hand. But because of the personal, I guess that's a personal foul. I guess I, I whatever think that's it was, a, it uh, maybe brings they it back. It, I didn't see the 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 signal that he made, but I knew what he was doing. In any case, Raiders will have the ball on their own 16-yard line. Give up the middle to Harris. Mustangs uh, need to Your force a punt here, here to Harris keep this field position the in their favor. Ball goes out to the 21-yard line. Number seven, Walker Wood. Yeah, we need a defensive stand here. Wilson Offense showed a little line of, uh, sign of life there. Need Give defense the ball is kept yep. by the quarterback. Uh, he's running to his right. Mm. And look, uh, at, look at Hayes Bennett. <laughs> Hayes got him the third time he tried to tackle him. He had him in the backfield on this side. He uh, shook that tackle and ran over to the he other side, and uh, Hayes pursued that play pretty well. Yeah, he did, and, you know, give the quarterback credit. He did a good job weaving and breaking tackles, but give Hayes credit. He kept pursuing him and ended up uh, – had him had him twice and finally got him down on the third time. Raiders move to his left, uh, throws it deep. Nelson Hodges playing center field out there. Intercepted. And picked, uh, I think it hit the ground, did it? And no, he's going to call it. Uh, by number 10, I don't think it hit the ground. Hodges. Nelson did a really good job adjusting to that ball. He could tell it was underthrown, and he got himself in good position to jump up and get it. It's one of those where the receiver turns into the defender and tried to knock it out of his hand as he got as he caught it, and Nelson hang on, hung on. So they, hey, look, um, Mustang defense holds thanks to the turnover. Mustangs have the ball at their own 36-yard line. Lamb takes a shotgun snap. Going to wind up and throw it to Sanford. Sanford catches it, gets upfield, gets uh, cross first down yardage and they're going to blow him out of bounds right at the sticks. Looks like it'll be enough for a first down, but a couple times Dane tiptoed on the edge and yeah. uh, couldn't stay in bounds. Yeah. Good enough for a Dane first is, down. When Dane's Mustang. running, he's running with a full head of steam and two times his momentum, I guess, has carried him out. That one over here. It's the fifth first down for the Mustangs tonight. So five first downs in the first half is a good, good sign that you're moving the football. A couple of them by, by the, yep. uh, in the air. And, look, the Mustangs are calling good plays here to take advantage of the aggressiveness by the rush of the Raiders. Keep them honest. And they, it looks like they're coming hard this time. They are. Big hole. Sanford up the middle. First down game. That was a uh, really good. Sanford, the ball carrier for the Mustangs. He's tackled by number five, Trey Adams. They kind of pursued and caught him coming on the backside there. Uh, Sanford ran it for a first down. He had a ball. hole. They had everybody on the line. There was very few folks to come up and make him uh, to tackle him once he uh, once he got in the past the line of scrimmage. And a 14 yards there for Sanford. Sanford is uh, the leading rusher for the Mustangs in uh, attempts and yards. Uh, he's been the bell cow for the Mustangs all year long. Give is two Hodges, and he – can't get out of the backfield. It's going to lose about three yards Nelson to Hodges the 45. The he dropped down by number 22, Bennett Ware. So much. That brings up second uh, So difficult to keep positive plays it after is. play after play. Um, Look, J.A.'s defense is being aggressive. That's right. They're, they've seen the success of rushing the passes or, <clears throat> or um, sacking. Here they come again. Nelson is going to get back to the line of scrimmage, but not much more than that. So I think I counted Nelson Hodges seven men on the line of scrimmage. The yeah, and I don't know the answer to that. It's he a quick pass four, to get him on something Hero. over the middle. Screen I don't know pass, or, yeah. screen Thanks. pass would Winning help a little bit. Third down. Not sure I've seen us run a screen this year. Maybe we've got that in the <laughs> in the arsenal. Lamb takes the shotgun snap. 
Hodges picks up a blitz. Ball is thrown in the area of Brock Magibson, but uh, a little over his head. Uh, had time to throw there, Hank. You like to see that? He did. He did. Didn't really have anybody open, but did have time to throw. Mustangs bring on the punting unit. We may be having some technical difficulties, but we're uh, maybe the YouTube stream. So we'll be back momentarily. Another high snap, Sanford brings it down and gets a really good kick end over end inside the 10 if the Mustangs can get down there. The receiver kind of deked the uh, uh, return team there and uh, they didn't follow the ball, but ball goes into the end zone for a touchback. Mustangs go. Get low. Stay proud. 7.31 to go, J.A. will take over. Halfway through the second quarter, 14 to nothing. J.A. over the Mustangs, going to bring the ball out to the J.A.'s own 20-yard line. That's where Collins will take over. With, is that Harris in the backfield? No, it's not Harris. 28. Britt Rockley giving chase. I believe he's going to be out of bounds there, Hank. He uh, dropped it anyway. Heston, uh, John Heston and Heston Nelson Hodges knock him out of bounds. Good pursuit by the yeah, defensive completely. line there. Well, good pursuit by the defensive line and the def uh, Mustang defensive backs held their coverage as well. Very successful play for the Mustangs, Mustangs there. Two, Nelson Hodges, and number uh, you know, you can uh, see some market improvement in the defensive backfield. Sure. I think some uh, – Well, that first game against Hartfield, we'd probably seen ten, ten passes – uh, the whole time. Boy, it looked like the guard went early there. 66 is going to bring that uh, play to a stop. 66 is going to be Brantley Rogers. Good job, Brantley. Uh, Very nice job. Came. He brought down by number 66, Brantley Rogers. Quarterback was just trying to pick his way through, and Brantley came up behind him and jumped on his back from that defensive tackle spot. Brantley giving Lawson Steed a break. Uh, getting some good minutes here. Third down and 12, big defensive play for the Mustangs. Hayes Bennett coming on the right side. He's uh, – uh, Good deep. Oh, I disagree, sir. <laughs> we'll look at our trusty replay. I just don't think you call that. I'm not sure he had the best angle to call that uh, interference. I assume that's what he's going to call. He's going to say John Heston got, got there Howard. early. Um, Deflect the pass. You know that's just aggressive football. It's a bang bang play. I believe uh, you go. You both have. You both can go for the ball. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think you. It's not a play where the contact was to disrupt the receiver before the ball was there. The ball was thrown low, and they were both going for it. I don't know the actual rule there, but I would say John has some good aggressive play. Yeah, I don't and think the coaches would have him do anything different on that yep. play, Hank. Mm, that's a bummer if you're a Mustang fan. Yep, we had him off the field there. Um, Ball's going to be set at first down. Tate Dubard read that play there very we well and held on till his help arrived. And uh, I can't say enough about the way Tate has played the last couple of quarters of football. Right? Look, he stepped up last Bain. weekend. Uh, he to be the fourth person to start at that position at the right corner of the year. Second down. And he stepped up, batted down a play on third down, intercepted a play, uh, really two – Two uh, plays that solidified the Mustangs' lead against Magnolia Heights. Uh, really stepped up well. He's also backup quarterback, too. He's a good athlete. Collins but in the shotgun. Brings 38 in motion. Is going to give 238. Uh, Nelson Hodges. Nice defensive play by the senior. So we go from sophomore to Number senior, both making big plays Arnie out on the Jerry. corner, creating negative yards. Timeout on the field. Uh, no, timeout. You know, Hank, you talked to me to go about a gut check, and I think the Mustangs have responded. Yeah, they have. Uh, well. They have really well. Loss is going to take them back to the 24. Official so timeout on the field. Feels Ladies like we've responded better at the than we did at Hartfield, but truly, when Our Hartfield decided Academy they were going to start RCA passing the ball, we hadn't seen anybody NIS throw the ball NIS effectively. Five state champion pick division. And that Hartley's good football team. Here you can see that we're getting ourselves in position. And uh, look, J.A.'s a good football team. I can tell you that right now. Look at that. 
Also at the NAIS Spirit Good quarterback on Wednesday, and uh, just Dancy really have seen some, some players. The I would say the thing I'm probably the most impressed with is he seemed to have a defender in the area, whereas against Hartfield, we did not. That's right. Going to bring so up a third down Neely and Dodd, 20 Avery yards. Kaylee Blaylock uh, from receiving their All-Star Award. First thing, defense can keep the guys in front of them and uh, not allow a big play. Hopefully, can force a punt here. Had a turnover on the last possession. Collins at the shotgun with Harris to his right. Going to roll to his left. He's got a man, and Nelson Hodges is there to Another defend Another fantastic it. play by Nelson. Um, great job. Two, he almost Jordan intercepted that ball. For the month, thanks, sure did. Nelson and, Hodges. and number two for them, uh, Dakota Four Jordan now. got in there and knocked it away. Really nice job there. The Mustangs have to hold them for six plays. Uh, and they do and create negative yardage in, in, in all those. I say six plays because, again, I, right. I, I think we got called for something on the third down before that was uh, questionable, you know, questionable 50-50 <laughs> call, whatever you want to call it. Didn't Hayes Bennett's given a way. lot of respect for the punter, be standing at his own 35. He's planning on getting ahead of steam and catching it on the run. Good looking. It's a nice punt. punt. He's going to let it drop. He's going to go get a – Raider bounce to about the 43-yard line where the Mustangs will take over with 5.30 left in the first half. you got to be happy with uh, what your, your Mustang defense has done. They have uh, one touchdown of a significant long drive. That's right. The other was a short field. 17 yards. Se 17 yards. So uh, your defense is keeping you in this ball game. Just going to need some productivity. We didn't have much early on in the game, but we've been able to move the chains here in the second quarter and late in the third, uh, first. We just got to get in the end zone. That's right. Mustangs have John Heston, Hayes Bennett, Brock Makeupson as the wideouts. Hayes swings out to the uh, – Yeah, that's – The Mustangs going to move early. Back him up five. The Mustang. More room to work. That's exactly right. I don't know if the uh, Mustangs need to maybe take the top off the defense a little bit and, you know, throw it out. Uh, see if you can't get some time to throw a deep ball here. You obviously got uh, some speed on the outside if you get Hayes, uh, you know, in the open field. Just got to be able to – we were trying to get the ball to Hayes, it looks like, on that play. So there we go again. Come back in the out backfield. The swing pass. He's going to have to make somebody miss to have any luck here. He's going the wrong way. He's going to cut it back up. Gets uh, going to lose about another three yards to the 35. Hey, he's been in on the catch for the Mustang. It's going to be tough to do that against an athletic defense uh, that's yeah. going to fly to the ball. You know, he's going to be faster than most of his defenders, but uh, not going to be faster than 11 of them if they're in the right position. So Yeah, that one didn't ever look like it materialized the way we wanted it because the defender stayed perfectly at home. Hayes never got the edge, which is I think that play's designed to have him catching the ball at full speed. Sanford takes the ball, going to run over his blocker there and gets the Dave no gain to the, the 35. The yeah, that was a lot He's of congestion in the, in the intended hole in. there. Mustangs are going to be forced to punt here to the Raiders. No, it's I third down. It, oh, it is third down. Yeah, that guess we had a penalty. Yeah. That's right. Might not be a bad strategy to punt right here. <laughs> I think Pooch the, punt, uh, I believe they're called. Yeah. You're watching the Auburn-Penn State game. The officials had made Penn State punt on third down. So. Hmm. Drew Lamb back to pass. There's a the screen pass you were looking for, Here's Hank. And screen it worked. I called for, and it worked. Dane is into the open field. He's got one man to beat, and he does. The man tried to kick him, and... That looked like a lot of slapping going on down there. On <laughs> Boy, it, it sure looked like he stuck his foot out and knocked him down. I don't know. Uh, uh, we're watching uh, the cheerleaders you, uh, on the screen he's, here. He's, 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 he takes it down. He, down. Did you tell Coach Crowder to call the screen? He, no, but Coach Crowder is a lot smarter than I am. He knew to call the screen <laughs> at some point. So, Mustangs will take over at the 18-yard line. Screen pass. Nelson in the quarterback. Fumbles the ball, going to get back on it. On the yeah, that was, that was not too bad of a snap. It was a little bit low.
working on some YouTube issues. Are we still up on? Or maybe still up on Facebook. On Facebook. You control a lot of things. You can't control the internet sometimes, Hank. Lamb back in at quarterback. Sanford to his left in shotgun formation. That game is at Heritage, if I'm not mistaken. I know we go to Bio next week, so that'll be interesting to see how that game comes out. But we've got another half and a little bit of change left in this game. So. Yeah, that Bio game is at Heritage. It's Heritage homecoming. Okay. That's how I know that. Lamb in the shotgun, one back to his right. It's Dane Sanford. Throws it up to Nelson to see if he can run under it, and he does. Wow, Hank. Touchdown. <laughs> what a catch. And the shot by number 10, Nelson Hodges. Takes it in for the touchdown. I'll tell you what, that was thrown to a spot. Nelson and Rack he got said there. run under it. The defender was at that spot, and Nelson made a great grab. As he came down, it looked Tonight's to me like he was on his back you and, Company. you know, had that extra Nobody support for the, the ball not to, not to drop Nobody. it. It almost looked like it went through the defender. It was just yeah. kind of right under his um, his arms. I and think like the defender's say, eyes got big, thought he was going to make a play on it, but it was a little deeper, well-thrown ball to a spot. Nelson did a great job to run under it, catch it, and PAT oh. is through. Juan Carlos puts it in. The extra point is good. By number seven. one, Juan Carlos remaining. Good response. The good Dynamite drive. Turk fireworks are following the. Tonight's fireworks are powered by Cannon Turk Cannon. Cannon. That's group, right. The home of great That's service by my and Dynamite deals. Count. That was a Remember, seven play drive. Uh, one first Turk down Cannon. from the 43. It's going to be 57 yards. So um, good sustained drive. A couple of first downs. And. Um, you know, that's, these, these kids deserve this score. They've, they've played hard on defense, and they need needed some positive energy, and you're happy for those. If you go, um, you know, I, I can't speak for Coach Crowder. If I was Coach Crowder, if I looked in here, I said, my defense has played very well. We sure. We up by 14. My offense in the second half has moved the ball better. We've had to have some good play calls because J.A. is a good team. They're playing aggressive defense, particularly at the line of scrimmage. We're making them uh, – we're making some plays here to keep this thing competitive. Mustangs will be kicking off. And that play call, you know, Drew was in shotgun, a couple of step drop, and got it out quickly, let Nelson run under it. You know, I think that's not – we're not going to be seven step drops, you know, hold up for uh, – and go through three or four different checks to, to, to find an open receiver. We're going to have to make some quick reactions, so – Juan Carlos tees the ball up at the 40-yard line. Got two J.A. Raiders back to receive. Number four is Porter Harrell. And number five is Trey Adams. Kick is squibbed down uh, to about the 30. Number six picks it up, runs to his right, cuts it back up the middle. It's going to be tackled there by Brantley Rogers. Good coverage by the Mustangs. Raiders are going to take over by the, the, return the 38. The so now what you want, Hank, is a defensive stop and uh, see if you can't get into halftime. Yeah. If you don't get the ball back, see if you can take it in halftime with one uh, with a one-score game. Oh, that would that would be uh, ideal. Mustangs on that last series did a really good job on defense of stringing plays out when the quarterback rolled. My guess is J.A. doesn't like the momentum switch and they want to get in before half with the touchdown. Collins gives to Harris. He tips toes there and uh, is going to be tackled there by, it's like 65. Is that our 65 out there? Number 27, Marcus Harris. If there's a 65 for our run. team, he's new. Uh, 55, lost 55, to Steve. Yeah. Good first down yardage yeah. for the Raiders there. Picks up to about the 45-yard line. Marcus Harris, we've seen him for several years, 5'10", 230 back. He just kind of picked his way through there and, and explodes up. And, and right here he's going to go – Oh, good tackle there by Tate, Tate Dubard. Dubard. Harris made a good Harris move to the, the outside. Raiders. I thought he was about to take it to the house, and Tate you know, Dubard came over from his right corner position and Dubard just made the tackle. The Mustangs have had success on, on uh, the passing defense, and uh, now the Raiders are going to decide to uh, keep it on the ground and see if they can't get into the end zone that way. They had they kind of gotten away from the run, and uh, yeah. obviously Marcus it's, uh, Harris on the carry for the Raiders. Something they need big, to stick Big, to. powerful back like Harris is tempting to down, give the ball to a lot. 
Two minutes to go in the first half. Collins is going to give it to Harris again. Uh, Mustangs bottle him up after about a three-yard gain. Bring up third down and about 20, five. 22, and uh, John Heston Powers and Brock Makeupson bring him down. Number 28, Denham Mitchell on the carry. Good team tackling there. I think it's going to be third. Third and four is what the scoreboard says. J.A. has all three of their timeouts left, so they've got plenty of time here to orchestrate something. Uh, quarterback rolls to his left. going to throw down to his left. Nelson is out there again. Good and play. <laughs> He kind of mistimed his, uh, but he did disrupt it enough where the guy couldn't catch it. So he was there, but uh, he did his job. Jordan goes in complete. They are, uh, they're really going. <laughs> they're really testing Nelson there at his safety position, and I'll tell you, he has stood up to the test. And. You know, if I'm the Raiders and I'm seeing what the Mustangs have, I'm not sure Nelson is the guy I'm throwing at. Hank. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> no offense to our other guys. Yeah. I'm just, i got to well, pick made, one. He's made two really good yeah, plays already. Especially now that he's made an interception and two other good plays. So, fourth down play, big play in the game here. The give. Quarterback keeps it, has nowhere to go. Nelson is back there, lets him go. Goodness. And one man to beat, and he's going to get into the end zone. Man. Wow. Look, that's just – Sometimes that happens. Uh, we, we had it snuffed out, had the play stopped and just couldn't get the quarterback on the ground. Give him credit. That's right. Give him credit. He shook the tackler off and uh, wasn't letting one man bring him down, and we weren't able to get some help there for Nelson. Read that play just right, yeah. Hank. I mean, no, it, everybody read it right, didn't, didn't uh, go for the fake, which is what they were hoping for Right. with the man in motion. 13, Scott Swally is going to – Attempt the PAT. Looks good from here. And it is. So, um, uh, Raider, we must have made a mad scoring a touchdown. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, they had a couple big plays there that set up uh, the, the, the uh, touchdown, but had them fourth down, had the play stop, just didn't get the man on the ground. We'll give Nelson a break on that one because uh, he's made a lot of good plays tonight. It makes the score 21 to 7. The minute 19 to go in the second quarter. So if you're the Mustangs, I think you want to see what you can do here, uh, particularly know when you get the ball. No, we, uh, we're we kicking the ball. We got the kick. Oh, oh that's kick right. Off. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. So that may, as I was about to say, you may, um, you, know, you know you're kicking it to them, but with a minute 19, yeah. uh, you hopefully they're going to kick that squib kick again so you may can get a good return and you can get it up towards midfield, then you can – kind of open up the playbook and see what you can do. But I think the Mustangs are going to be aggressive. They don't have any time out, so you may take one or two plays. And uh, Well, they'll, they'll, they'll be aggressive, as aggressive as they can, depending on what happens on first down. Swally is back to kick. He's been squibbing it in John Heston's direction all three times tonight. Does the same thing, and John Hess is going to get a good bounce and get a good hole and delivers a blow to the kicker. Now I can Number tell you now that we'll be aggressive because <laughs> we'll be set up on the 38-yard line of the Mustangs. Boy, he, the ball just gave him a perfect bounce to field and, and keep running. Feels run like quickly. a shortstop. <laughs> yeah, and, and just shot right through the gap. Ball's going to be placed at the 38 of J.A. So... Um, Minute 14, no timeouts. Three wide receivers to the left. Makeupson, um, Bennett, and Hodges. Got to throw it. And he throws it to Nelson, and he gets bumped there, and he's going to get a flag. He's going to get a flag. And, I, and I'll, for Hodges. I'll say that one was a little early, but it was also pretty good three. defense. It wasn't as um, it was. it wasn't as aggressive of a bump, but he yeah. did hit him a little early. But they owed us one. Don't you think? Yeah, they owe this one. <laughs> Pass interference on the Raiders. So the Mustangs are in business after the nice return by John Heston Powers. And then the All pass interference call. For the Mustangs. Mustangs to be set up with first and ten from the Raider 23-yard line with a minute nine to go in the second quarter. Trips come to the right this time. Leave Makeupson on the left. Lamb throws Lamb's it again. Get rid, rid of it. Hodges gets out of bounds, uh, short yardage, but the clock is going to stop. Pass was caught by Hodges. Gets to the 19-yard line. Pushed out of bounds by number four, Porter Harrell. Five seconds off the clock. 
Second down. Get in four, second down and six. Muskingum can take their time here with the clock stopped and 25 seconds to go. Get their personnel. Going to keep the trips to the right. Megabson on the quarterback's left. Sanford in tight. Probably going to stay in and block here. Shotgun snap. Got a man down the middle, and Nelson catches it and catches touchdown. <laughs> Hit him right in the chest. Again, Nelson's having a heck of a game. He's catching these balls in traffic. He's coming up on, on big stops in the defensive backfield. Uh, well thrown ball. And I, you got to say the truth. He's throwing it. He knows he's going to get pressured. And he's throwing the ball where he's supposed to, standing in the pocket. And then uh, Dane Sanford right there did a good job picking up that end coming off the edge. And you can tell Drew's got that clock in his head and yep. it's going a little faster. Yeah. He's not <laughs> waiting. He's saying, I got to get this out. One, two, three, yeah. let's go. And uh, making decisions and being decisive and delivering a good football. So uh, you can kind of see him growing up in the middle of the game right here. So good kick by Juan Carlos. The extra point is good by number one, Juan Carlos Fernandez. Tonight's fireworks are powered by Kirk Brothers Auto Group, so, home of great service and dynamite deals. Not just going to walk Remember, into halftime, Hank. We're going to score a couple of touchdowns with a couple minutes yeah. left. So uh, That's probably what we were going to do anyway, but uh, with that return, you certainly you felt like you had a, a better chance and it was a lower risk. But really came out throwing the ball. You know, I don't, I don't know that we ran the ball any on that series. Right. Coach Walker's down there. He's getting, he's getting right. He brings the energy level of this team that's uh, it's incredible. Yeah, it's um, his energy level is uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty high. Uh, and this again, 58 seconds. Uh, you, you you can't let them <laughs> let them score. Uh, let them score here. You're gonna see what we're gonna do on the kickoff. See if we kick it deep. We kicked it fairly deep last time to the 30 yard line. So. Nowadays, you see more squib kicks and uh, than, than kick deeps, kicks yeah. that deep now. Juan Carlos uh, approaches the ball, kicks it to the 30-yard line. Number six is going to take it and has the same kind of hole that we had, uh, but Brock Megamson is able to bring him down about the 46-yard line. Brent Riley, Brantley Rogers also in on that stop Brought there. Brought down by number 11, Brock Mickham. The 10th graders coming in um, tonight, playing playing hard, making some tackles. J.A. takes over their own 46. So Mustang's going to put some defensive backs back there to kind of prevent, um, hopefully prevent a touchdown. Raiders still have all three timeouts, I think. So 53 seconds with three timeouts is um, you can do just about anything. It'll be interesting to see if they can say, well, we'll come out throwing it too. I thought they'd bring Marcus Harris in to see if he could got bump it up the middle again. But got 28, Denham Mitchell, 5'11", 10th grader. Yeah, if Harris is not in the game, I don't think they're going to run it. Uh, they air it out deep. John Heston is back there, and it gets over his head. Goodness gracious, the touchdowns that are being scored in the last 30 seconds. You just can't let the guy behind you in that yeah. situation, John, Hank. John Heston fell in love with the ball and forgot to, about it, the man running to catch it. You could see him You could see him slow up a bit as he focused on the ball and well thrown, perfectly thrown ball. Yep, number 19, Merritt Nations catches that ball. It's going to be a 54-yard touchdown pass. So. so the Raiders say not so fast, Mustangs. Three touchdowns by my calculations in the last two minutes and 58 seconds. Uh, so Most of which occurred in the last 15 seconds. Actually, probably four. Go back to Nelson's touchdown. So. Yeah. Well, the way things are going, we've got plenty of time. That's 43 right. seconds and no timeouts. <laughs> extra point is good. John Heston has his head down, and he'll he'll learn from that. He he had decent position on uh, the, the receiver and also had a big height advantage. But he gave that up by checking up a bit, looking at the ball. And again, you got to give credit to the quarterback. Yeah, he that made ball a was thrown perfectly. Probably the ball was probably in the, the air, 40 yards on a nice line, tight spiral. Among many other items. 
and it's just we you just um, everything you need to play to do to keep a full you can't defend that against in practice you just can't simulate that is what, what i'm trying to say you just don't have um, you got to get that in the game and that's uh yeah. experience that we're getting here so we're gonna have homecoming eventually but we got a couple looks like got a couple more drives here i, I think <laughs> i think i want to see what happens in this 43 <laughs> seconds John Heston may get a chance to redeem himself a little well, bit. Redeem himself or run it back. Run it back. We'll see. They kick it to him every time. Got Nelson, Dane, and Hayes, the three guys back deep. So this looks like a different kick kind of kick. Yeah. Nelson's going to take it at the goal line. They're going to mm. can't let it cross the plane. Yeah. That ball was a yard deep in the end zone, and that's where Nelson caught it. And in high school football, that is – Can't bring it out. Can't bring it out. So now, 43 seconds, Mustangs down 28 to 14. A uh, little different situation. Ball going to be placed on the left hash at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Ball is given to Sanford, and that could run the Sanford half the out if J.H. so chooses. He tackled by number 20, Brister Robertson. Five-yard gain, second down. Lamb takes a shotgun snap. Back to throw. He's going to take a sack, hold on to the ball. Down to the 15. That's going to do it for the first half, Hank. So, eventful second quarter there. And that'll do um, it for the first half, folks. And um, a lot of positives for the Mustangs, Hank. I think yep. I'm, I'm, based on where the first ha first quarter ended, um, second quarter had a lot of action. Starting right now at halftime. So I you think you're happy. If you're, I mean, obviously you're a coach and never happy, but I think you've got some things to work on. Yeah, you got to be really pleased with your defense, They're giving up 28 points. But if you think about that, you had one where you had them stopped, and Nelson just wasn't able to get the quarterback on the ground. You had a short field on one, and then you had the big play there at the end of the at the second quarter. Defensively. You've done well offensively. Uh, we had to adjust because of the way J.A. was playing us, and uh, I think the coaches have called really nice plays. Drew has settled in with a lot of pressure on him and made some really good throws. Nelson Hodges is having a big night catching the ball. Others have done well. We haven't really been able to get the running game established uh, like we would like, which would help us to control the ball a little bit longer. But all in all, you go down 28-14 at, at halftime. Uh, you'd rather be leading 28-14, but remember we were down 14 of them quickly. That's right. And the Mustangs really kind of gained themselves, got their composure back, and have been fighting hard. And uh, they've played them to a tied ball game That's at right. this point since if, after the first 14. So hopefully that intensity that we saw in the f first half will still be with us in the second half after we get through with the homecoming festivities. and. Hopefully we'll uh, get a couple of touchdowns and make this a nail biter. I'm sure uh, we'll do our best. Um, please stay tuned. Enjoy the homecoming uh, festivities. We'll be back in uh, 20 minutes. The Pillow Academy City Council would like to extend our gratitude to local business who have been a part of making this an evening so special. Thank you to Petals Flower Shop for the beautiful flowers for our homecoming court and arch. The Farmer's Market for the beautiful mums on our field, and also to Lindbar Jewelers for the elegant crown that will soon be presented. And now it's time to present the 2021 Homecoming Court. Our freshman maid this year is Landry Harrington McCool. She is being escorted by Chamberlain Scott McLean. Landry is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Michael McCool. Chamberlain is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Chris McLean. Landry McCool and Chamberlain McLean. Our first sophomore maid is Elizabeth Gailey Marshall.
She is being escorted by John Riley Poe. Libby is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Brent Marshall. John Riley is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Riley Poe. Libby Marshall and John Riley Poe. Our next sophomore maid is Millie Claire Moses. She is being escorted by Cameron Lawrence Lee. Millie is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Corley Moses. Cameron is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Nikita Lee. Millie Moses and Cameron Lee. Our first junior maid is Abby Bishop Alderman. She is being escorted by Mark Andrew Austin, Jr. Abby is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Howard Alderman. Drew is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Andy Austin. Abby Alderman and Drew Austin. Our next junior maid is Emily Kate Holmes. She is being escorted by William Pierce Brown V. Emily is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Keith Holmes. William is the son of Mr. and Mrs. William Pierce Brown IV. Emily Holmes and William Brown. Our final junior maid is Sarah Frances O'Brien. She is being escorted by William Garrett Cole. Sarah Francis is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Trey O'Brien. Garrett is the son of Mr. and Mrs. James Pierce Cole III. Sarah Francis O'Brien and Garrett Cole. Our first senior maid is Mary Helen Brown. She is being escorted by Christopher Wayne Winter, Jr. Mary Helen is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Brown. Christopher is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Winter, Sr. Mary Helen Brown and Christopher Winter. Our next senior maid is Lillian Taylor Harvey. She is being escorted by Elvin Lewis Jones III. Lillian is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jason Harvey. Tripp is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Lewis Jones. Lillian Harvey and Tripp Jones. Our next senior maid is Maggie Lynn Jennings. She is being escorted by Jeb Gaston Osborne. Maggie is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Shane Huff and Mr. George Hodges Jennings Jr. Jeb is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jim Osborne. Maggie Jennings and Jeb Osborne. Our next senior maid is Georgia Caroline Self. She is being escorted by Eli Jeffords Steen. Georgia Caroline is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Marty Self. Eli is the son of Mrs. Shannon Steen and the late Mr. Rocky Steen. Georgia Caroline Self and Eli Steen. Our final senior maid is Emma Kate Wallace. She is being escorted by Justin Bradley Hausner. Emma Kate is the daughter of Dr. and Mrs. David Wallace. Justin is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Ray Hausner. Emma Kate Wallace and Justin Hausner. Our flower girl this year is Dylan Everly Branson, and our crown bearer is Barker Hayes Donahoe. They were selected from this year's kindergarten class. Dylan is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Branson, and Hayes is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Barrett Donahoe. Dylan Branson and Hayes Donahoe.
Last year's queen, Julia Love Lyon, will be crowning our new 2021 homecoming queen. Flowers will be presented by Mr. Barrett Donahoe, headmaster of Pillow Academy. And now the moment for which we've all been waiting. Your 2021 homecoming keen and queen are Emma Kate Wallace and Tripp Jones. Let's have another round of congratulatory applause for our 2021 homecoming king and queen, Emma Kate Wallace and Tripp Jones. I'd like to thank you for coming out for support of the presentation of our homecoming court this evening. All of this week's homecoming activities have been sponsored by the Pillow Academy Student Council. President of Student Council this year is Dia Chala. We hope you have enjoyed this evening's presentation. Once again, we would like to extend a special thank you to the following people. Petals Flower Shop for the beautiful flower arrangements for the homecoming court. Farmers Market and Wendy Hausner for helping with the beautiful mums used this year for the evening deal decorations. Lindbar Jewelers for faithfully donating the crown yet again for this year's queen and to all the many people who have helped make this homecoming fun and successful. Thank you to our students, parents, faculty, and staff for all their support throughout this homecoming week in keeping the traditions of Pillow Academy here alive and well. We love that Mustang spirit. It is truly, as always, a great day to be a Mustang. Thanks again for your support, and happy homecoming. It's harvest time for farmers across the state of Mississippi. So into the tractors and off to the fields they go. And that means you might come face to face with one on your rural roadways. For their safety and yours, please slow down and give these tractors and other farm equipment the space they need. You may even have to move off the road for a moment. Just like you, they want to do their job and return safely to their homes and their loved ones. This message is brought to you by your Delta area Farm Bureau families. Ready to get your money moving? Zelle is fast, safe, and an easy way to send money in minutes to friends, family, and others you trust. And it's now available in the Guarantee Bank mobile app. Enroll today and get your money moving. Guarantee Bank, together with Zelle. Guarantee Bank, member FDIC. Transactions typically occur in minutes when the recipient's email address or U.S. mobile number is already enrolled with Zelle. Mobile carrier fees may apply. Available to United States bank account holders only. Terms and conditions apply. The Zelle service is property of Early Morning Services, LLC.
welcome back to Bill Davis Field and Pillow Academy Mustang live stream. I'm Hank Reichley. We're letting Jonathan take a break for a moment. I want to thank again our sponsors that you just saw on the screen and heard their commercials. We appreciate what they do for us. A lot of comments coming from folks I know at JA liking the music that's being played. I hope you can hear it in the background. That's supplied by Andy Hackleman. He's our mixer. I'll go over some stats with you now, if I can find them. I know I just saw an email or a text come in. I just have to locate it. Here we go. For the Mustangs rushing, Nelson Hodges has attempted the, to run the ball six times, and he has six yards. Dane Sanford 12 times for 51 yards. And with all those sacks, Drew Lamb is negative uh, 30, five attempts. Receiving, Nelson Hodges also leading the stats. Six receptions for 69 yards. Dane Sanford second with two receptions, 57 yards. Walker Wood has one reception for eight yards. And Brock Makeupson one for 11 yards. Defensively, Nelson Hodges has one tackle. Brock Makeupson, two tackles. Tate Dubard, four tackles. Really having an outstanding game tonight. Tate Gailey, two tackles. Hayes Bennett, three tackles. John Heston Powers, three tackles. Andrew Brock has a tackle. Britt Reichley, three tackles. Lawson Steed, one tackle. Hayden Pillow, one tackle. And Brantley Rogers, two tackles. I think I've seen him with at least two and a half tackles. I saw one where he didn't get credit for that he was in there. Brantley's having a heck of a game tonight. Coming in, playing a good bit as a sophomore. Team statistics. First downs are, are even. And uh, if you recall, it took us a couple of series to get cranked up, but both teams have nine first downs. J.A. has 200 yards total offense, whereas the Mustangs have 156. Raiders have thrown for 114 yards, and the Mustangs actually have the advantage in that category at 145 yards. Raiders have completed 50% of their passes. They're 6 of 12, and the Mustangs 10 of 16. Rushing J.A. has 86 yards, while Pillow has 11. And really, when you look at it, that's been the, the difference in the game has been the, the Mustangs' inability to uh, run the ball effectively, which is really the core of their offense. They've been forced into to passing the ball more uh, because of the way the Raiders have, have defensed us so far. And, uh, and really, uh, you've got to be proud of the way the Mustangs have put the ball in the air tonight. Drew Lamb has stood in there. Uh, a lot of times with a lot of pressure in the pocket and uh, throwing the ball accurately, and our receivers have gone up and gotten it. And in particular, uh, Nelson Hodges is having a whale of a game running and catching the ball where it's thrown and, and making plays when they're, uh, the pass is contested. So uh, that's a bright spot for us on the, on the passing side and certainly will come in handy as we enter in league play for the rest of the season to have, have made some strides in that, particularly compared to – where we were passing the ball a year ago as an offense. But uh, you'd like to see us be able to control the line of scrimmage a little better, get some get some holes, and be able to run the, run the ball. Uh, I say this often, but this, the offense that we run is designed to try to possess the ball, keep the, the other team off the field. And J.A. has a nice offense. Uh, it's really been efficient tonight. Uh, Mustangs have come up with some stops at times, but – Overall, the J.A. has been able to move the ball relatively well, executing nice passes, good blocking, uh, lots of neat, neat schemes they run. And uh, so the, you know, you, you've got a tall task in, in stopping J.A.'s offense. The best way to stop them is to just keep them off the field by controlling the ball. Hopefully the Mustangs will be able to do that in the second half. 
clock shows two minutes and 50 seconds before kickoff. I'm going to bet against that. Uh, all we have out on the field right now is a few youngsters and a couple of special teams folks from JA, a couple of punters, a couple of kickers, and a wad of folks congratulating the homecoming crowd, uh, excuse me, the homecoming court down in the, in the south end zone. No sign of Mustangs football team or the Raiders at this point in time. couple of score eight score updates for you. Here come the Mustangs onto the field. And uh, like work, clockwork, J.A. also takes the field to get a little, little warm-up action. So I don't – clock's still showing a minute and 18 seconds. I don't think we're that close, but we won't, we won't be too far away from kickoff of the second half here with the Pill Academy Mustangs versus the Jackson Academy Raiders. A couple of scores for you. This one coming in from Never mind everyone. Justin Garner over in the Golden Triangle. Heritage Leeds Bio Academy, 28 to 7 at the half. And this one comes in from Kane Overstreet, also in the Golden Triangle area. Starville Academy leads Winston Academy, 24 14 at the half. If you have any scores to share with me, please do. 662-392-4525. Jackson Academy is in a challenging part of their schedule. They Last week they faced MRA, who has certainly emerged in the last few years as the 6A the more dominant team in 6A. Uh, so then they have the Mustangs this week who are putting up a fight with them, and then next week they'll be playing Greenville Christian. And after that, they will be playing Hartfield. And you've heard us talk about Hartfield on this broadcast. They're a pretty good football team. So J.A. certainly uh, has a position, is in a position where they've got some tough contests, and they'll want to come out in the second half and try to keep their lead and secure their win. Whereas the Mustangs, after after we complete this ball game, will be going into conference games only. We'll we'll play uh, Bio Academy next week yep, at we'll Bio. Really. That's right. And then I believe we'll be back here at Bill Davis Field for the final home game of the year against the Startville Academy Volunteers. And then our remaining two games will be played on the road. First at Washington. And then what we're hoping will be a big showdown with the Heritage Academy Patriots for the final game of the season. Right now the Mustangs are in pretty good shape as far as the power points go. We're up there, it's very early in the season, but we're certainly up there with most of the folks in 5A as far as uh, power points go. And uh, are in great shape in terms of the conference with a 1-0 with a record after having defeated Magnolia Heights last week. Jonathan, it's a nice night for football, as I can tell you. It is, and a uh, big crowd down in the end zone there taking pictures and uh, celebrating the uh, homecoming festivities. That's such a, uh, it's a big deal. And, uh, Friday nights uh, during football, and it's one of those things that just uh, brings out the crowd. And uh, you know, I remember last year, uh, it's such, we had a—if you remember—we had a COVID cancellation. We had to pick up a game, and we picked up Jay Z George, and we had a. Uh, was that homecoming? It was homecoming. Wow. Uh, and we had a uh, 
storms coming in. We were trying to move that game and ended up doing it uh, before the, doing our homecoming uh, activities before the game. So as far as homecoming goes, much smoother, yeah, uh, much smoother game. And um, so uh, now we just got to try to. Now we just try to kind of win a win a football game. So. Yeah. lots of improvising last year during COVID. That Jay Z George game was was a very rare. I'm, I'm not sure it wasn't the first time that Mustangs have gone outside MAIS, but uh, Mustangs did end up being victorious in that homecoming of, uh, event. And uh, let's see if we can't uh, score more points than JA does in the second half. And and win this one. I really like the way the Mustangs were able to shake off their their slow start, going down 14 to nothing, battled if back, cut it to a seven point lead right the before the zone, half, and then JA was able to score a big long bomb with less than a minute to go. The time being, yeah, uh, JP's turning the party out down in the end zone. They're uh, that, that could get dangerous there. So they're pretty close to the field. So yeah, I think that was at the request of the refs. They were saying, push them back. Probably Let's so. get this thing going. Refs are probably going to be stiffened up. That was a long half. It was. Uh, Mustang is going to kick off uh, at their 40-yard line. Juan Carlos Hernandez is going to kick the ball uh, to the Raiders. Mustangs need to uh, – Continue the momentum on offense and stop their momentum on uh, on offense and see if we can't get a, uh, a quick three and out and get the ball back and see if we can't pick up where we left off offensively. Yeah, it'll be, be important for the Mustangs to come out here on defense and, and stop J.A. resoundingly here at the beginning of the third quarter. Is that – that big long pass really killed the mo, the, the mo we gentlemen, had going we into the halftime. The, the end zone is clear. Please make your way out of the end zone. Thank you. Referees are emphatically saying <laughs> we are not going to begin this game until that crowd gets out of the end zone, which honestly is, I don't know, 10 yards yeah. from, the, from the back of the end zone, they so they do need wheel. to move, yeah. Aggressive move to the end zone, but see Wilkes Meek down on the sideline there. With he's out, uh, according to the report his dad gave me last week, gave us last week. Hopefully he'll be back in action here uh, later in the season, perhaps as early as next week. But I hadn't, I didn't get a report on him this week. I think Coach Crowder expects a lot of these players to be back uh, next Good. week. You know and. Juan Carlos uh, squibs it up to the 35-yard line where the Raider player will take it up to 35. You know, it's if you're healthy, get out there and play. Uh, if you're banged up, uh, you don't want to risk further injury if you're entering into conference play. So it's just not worth the risk. Uh, I know all these yeah. kids want to play on homecoming and probably some of them. Um, you could win this game by 100 points or lose and it makes very little difference. Right. you got to take care of business in conference play. It does matter from a PowerPoint standpoint, but – Really, your conference games are the most important ones, and there we got four of them facing us here, or three of them, excuse me. J.A. comes out with number 28. Get my rosters back out, Hank. Denim Mitchell. Number Denim Mitchell. Uh, he Mitchell ended the Mitchell. half in the, in the field uh, instead he of Harris. Ball's going to be placed at the 49. At the 46, rather. Geno uh, Mitchell with the ball. Second down and 10. No gain for the Raiders. Good stop by the Mustangs on defense there. Mustangs come back with their usual starting 11 on defense. Tate Dubar, defensive uh, cornerback to the near side. Collins in the shotgun formation with Mitchell in his uh, backfield. Mitchell breaks it out to the left side. It's going to be nice brought tackle. there by John Heston Powers. Makes General a good Mitchell tackle. Again, the ball carrier. You know, they threw it to Nelson a couple John times, Heston and Nelson Powers made him pay for it, and then they team. decided they're going to throw it away from him, and then they got a, got a big touchdown there at the end of the half. So uh, we'll see what they decide to do if they air it out here on third down and about five from the 49. It's 
The Mustangs you know, Hank, have four games about, left. Uh, I said three. They, we have four games after this one. Marcus Harris being a little banged up. Maybe that's why he's not going back in the game. Oh, uh, no. Really uh, nice job there, quarterback baiting the corner to come up. Yeah, I was going to say Tate uh, had to make a decision there, and he uh, left his post there and went after Matthew the quarterback. And he's, uh, I think, being told that's not what he's probably saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think is that if Matt Hudson? Cross, yeah, that, no, that's Coach uh, AC. Good Coach AC is uh, explaining to him that his his job is to stay with his man he back there. Stay with his man because there was another defender out there that was on the quarterback. Mitchell's going to take the ball there. It's going to get stopped there by Hayden Pillow. Good yeah. job defensively at the 30-yard line. You stole it. I was The one time I could see who got the tackle oh, real I'm quick. Sorry. I'm sorry. We tackle had a nice good view of his jersey as he was <laughs> twirling him around. No game. Take it down. Nice play by Hayden Pillow. Second and ten for the Raiders. Working for the Mustang, 30. Gives up the middle. Number three is a first-time uh, ball carrier tonight. Tate Dubard, good job holding on. Tate Gailey helps Ethan him out. Yeah. Tackle the to the 22-yard line. So Dubard, third down and short. 18, number three Tate is Gailey. Ethan Archie. Third down. Look, Tate Gailey, uh, excuse me, um, Tate Dubard. Tate Dubard is is uh, the fourth person to start at that position. I think I've said wow, that a couple a of times. That was a big hole. Too big of a hole. Archie tack, takes it down inside the 10 Ethan for the Raiders. First down. Mustangs have a player down. He's getting up. Be first down for the Raiders. Tate Gailey. I don't see a bone poking out, so Tate's okay. <laughs> First down and goal for the Raiders. Give us to Archie again. Another big hole. Big old hole. If the running back had had his hit cut to the outside, I think he'd have walked into the end zone. But he cut it back into one of his own blockers. Ball taken to the four-yard line. Collins is going to give it to Archie again if it's not broken. Uh, going to get down to the three for another third down play. Yep. Raiders Archie really moving fast here. Brought down by number 11, Brock Makeham. Going to bring up Ball number 18, third and goal. Gailey. Ball's going to be Brown. on the two-yard line. Taking a little more time this time by the Raiders. Collins gives it to Archie again. And he's met at the goal line, but I believe he's going to fall across yeah, there yeah. for the Raider touchdown. We just touchdown, got a, a heaping helping of, of the run game there. Big holes opening up on the right side. I have to ask Britt Reichley what's going on over there. With that touchdown, the – J.A. will try their PAT to make the lead 35-14, to 14, and they do. Kick is up and through. So, the with 8.38 to go in the third Wally. quarter, the Raiders extend the lead to 21 points, 35-14. to 14. Nothing but touchdowns and PATs tonight for either team. Um, and you knew that the touchdown before the half, Hank, was, was big because they were getting the ball and were going to sure. be able to do that. So, that's um, – you know, difficult for the Mustangs, but a lot of football. We scored a lot of touchdowns in the very few uh, minutes there before halftime, so we can uh, we can put points on the board. I think that's a good sign before the half that we can, sure. you know, uh, if we execute and uh, everybody uh, is disciplined, we can score on this team. So that's something you can take away from the first half and the positive moving into the second half if we get the football here. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting. If you think about offensively, we haven't run the ball well tonight, but we've thrown it. Um, I won't say uncharacteris uncharacteristically well. We've just thrown it a lot more. And we've seen that evolve over the night where Drew was able to get settled in there, and even though he's been facing a pretty good rush, make some good throws. Uh, we've defended the pass very well on defense, and really, uh, except for a couple of plays there, the last two series when J.A. has wanted to run the ball, they've been able to do it relatively easily. Right. And just not what I expected, to be honest with you. I figured we'd be able to run the ball a little better and maybe they'd eat us up with a pass. Decided to kick it deep again, and Nelson's going to take it outside the goal line this time, about the two. Good block there by Hayes, uh, Bennett, 
Number two, Nelson's Nelson not able to get very far past the, the 20. Team. He's going to be – looks like he's okay. Maybe he's just cramping up a little bit. Hopefully that's what it is. He's walking like it's a cramp, so he's going to come out and get uh, treated. So maybe Nelson won't be out for more than one or two plays. Ball set on the 22-yard line. Matthew Nemi comes into the game, number 25, with Hayes Bennett and Brock Makepson as a part of a trip to the quarterback's left. Drew Lamb takes the snap, keeps it, and gets good positive first down yardage. First carry for Drew Lamb, if you don't count the uh, carries he's had in the backfield. Well, so Drew Lamb with the he had first one scramble run. that, yeah. That's right, he had but, a fourth down. But most of his 20, negative 30 yards or whatever it was was, was, <laughs> was sacks. And most of those came – Early. Early, that's yeah. right. Nelson uh, still on the sidelines, but it looks like he's okay, ready to come back in. Dane Sanford to the quarterback's right. Trips to the right as well. Drew's going to keep it again, go around the left side and get very close to first down yardage, maybe a yard short. But uh, something the Mustang saw the in the, at halftime and wanted to kind of uh, – Throw a wrinkle in there and first down Mustangs. Good first down. He takes it for a first down Mustang. Nelson might be the more effective runner out of that position, but uh, two things: they're not expecting it from Drew, and he is not a bad runner. That's right. Trips Pretty right in kind of a triangle formation on the left. I mean on the right. That's going to be a. Why don't we move play. a little early or not? Offsides on the Raiders, so that's going to move them up five yards. So positive Offsides play. Offsides on the Raiders. I could see Coach Crowder stepping in there, going, "What's wrong with my formation?" He <laughs> he was ready to defend his position. Defend <laughs> his position on this triangle out here. Uh, balls out to the 38-yard line. Staying in the trips right. Drew's going to get it back to the line of scrimmage. I don't know if he wanted, if he was going to fake it to Nelson or if he wanted to throw it. It was very slow getting out Drew there. Yeah, it, it was slow, and it was well read uh, by the down, Raider defense. But kind of looked like they wanted to have a swing Second pass. But I'm sure his first check was to make sure that someone went able to run deep uncovered. But it, they were trying to set up at the end there screen to, to Nelson, and glad he didn't throw it because it, it, he was well covered. Right. Trips again to the right. Dane Sanford to Drew Lamb's right to give his no, – oh, Drew's going to keep it. Another good first down uh, – second down yardage there. So that's going to be in close to another Mustang first down. I believe he is. May want to measure this one. Drew Lamb with the quarterback keeper. He's tripped by number 20. Ball is Richter at the Robertson. 43. And that will be a first, first down. down Mustang. I'm being told the live stream mic is off. Is our mic? You're good. Okay, Let's we're good. You're, you're all right. Madam Lamb, is it any better? <laughs> that, that was my fault. Most of the same my fault, that was me. Yeah. Okay. That was a technical error by our technical genius. It happens sometimes. Dane nice Sanford. run by Dane. He's got room, and he's breaking free into the open field, and I don't think they're going to catch him, Hank. They're not going to catch him, and there are no That's flags, five. and that'll be a Mustang Hit touchdown. Down. Mustang. 57-yard touchdown Sanford takes it in. for Dane Sanford. Uh, Mustang's answer. Nice hole there, and he made a nice cut and was off to the races and really did a good job winning the race. You know, we talked about it last week when he had a long touchdown, or I did. He runs so much between the tackles, and you don't see him break free, and when he does, he really is uh, fast. Yeah. And it's uh, impressive fast. to see when he gets an open field to uh, take that uh, take that all the way in. So Mustangs respond, answer the touchdown with another touchdown. Six minutes and four to go. Juan Carlos on for the PAT. It'll be blocked. It's a little bit of a – I don't know if he set it on the ground and it didn't set up right. Maybe but the snap was blocked. inside. He had to field it. Oh, he did have to come across his body a little yeah. bit. I think it was just late getting there. The snap was to the right side of the holder. He did a good job grabbing it and getting it down. But 
it uh, messes up our scoring. Yeah, it the does. Symmetry. JA is, uh, has been getting close, too, so that just a little fraction of a Remember moment there where Juan Carlos had to hold up was the, the difference. Of course, they blocked the Facebook field goal drive. Commentators Jonathan Mills and Hank Reichley and the media art team of John Benuzowitz and Hartley Kittle. These links are all listed Hartley Kittle the being the homepage. most important also, part of this team. Because for if it were Young, not Russell for Hartley and Jason providing the, uh, the video, then you'd have to just listen to Jonathan and I. Yeah, that'd be miserable. We'd have more people in the stands. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe that's maybe that's right. We could sell this place out. I, we did a pretty good job tonight getting close to a sellout. Phila always has support at their events. Uh, we, we hear that when we travel on the road. They can't believe how many folks show up at places like Columbia, Mississippi a few weeks ago. JA does too. They, it's they evident by, stands. you know, you talked about our numbers being about 10 short of, of those uh, of the uh, our opponent tonight. And if you look up and down the Pee Wee program and how many kids we have playing in the 4th, 5th, and 6th, and the 7th, and 8th, and, and the junior high program, we are uh, – it's not for lack of uh, players out no, here. No, that's right. Juan Carlos kicks it deep this time. Number four for the Raiders takes it around the right side and going to get knocked out of bounds hard by Tate Gailey. When you, and you talk about that, 56 on the roster versus four, 46 for the Mustang. The uh, JA 56, Mustangs 46. He's knocked out of bounds. Whenever Relatively speaking to the Brown. class sizes, we got a lot more folks playing football than they do. Right. Ball set at the 35 of uh, JA. Official timeout on the field. We yes. also want to make sure to recognize again our scoreboard sponsors. Their logos so are located in the end zone. They are American defense has got to figure out a way to stop Bank the run. Number. That's right. Farm you would Euro, expect, of course, Bank. you know, Conference I've been wrong a lot this year, Bank. but you would expect that uh, J.A. is going to no go back Jose. to that run. Clark Several Bedford. of those we didn't Bank touch the, the ball Marty carrier until he's five yards into our backfield. As always, so thank you to our we'll have to find a way to stop that. For your continued support, make J.A. JA pass athletes. again, and with the exception of the one big pass play, we've done well defending that. Yeah, we've um, hadn't had a stop on the J.A. drive in quite some time. Maybe since the I think they punted maybe twice, and we had an interception. Those were the three times that we did stop them. So. Um, Denham Mitchell still in the backfield, so Marcus Harris, I don't know if he – he may have been battling a little, little I think energy that's what, uh, in, uh, injury. I think you, you, the message you got, maybe he wasn't out, but I think he was hurt a little bit, and yeah. I think they're going to um, protect him maybe for big games in the Good coming ball player. weeks. They got some big physical games coming in the next two weeks, I can promise you. Give this to Denham Mitchell. Another big hole yeah, on the right getting, side. Getting, Flag is going to be thrown from the near side. Our coaching staff is clapping. I don't know General what Mitchell this guy saw, <laughs> but it was a far away from the play. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw the yellow thing in the air. I wasn't sure what it was. Broke it was coming from the sidelines. But big hole once again. Referees are going to talk about it. Flag on the play. Holding on the Raiders. So uh, they'll back them Holding up against 10 the Raiders. Yards. But again, thrown by the furthest man from the play. So I don't know what the hold was. Unless it was right in front of him and it was an unnecessary yeah, hold. It, 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 it should have been an him. unnecessary hold because I don't see how he could have seen the hold on the right side. All right, ball's going to be backed up to the 26 yard line. So, first down and, uh, or second, going to stay first down and about 20 yards to go for the Raiders. Uh, Raiders have found something on the right side of their line, Hank. They sure have. Go right oh. back to it. Mustangs do Mustang. a better job there. Much Game better tackling. job there. Much better job on that one. Pick a Mustang other than Dubard and Bennett, and, and they were all in on that tackle. Middle. Yep. You can divide that one a bunch of ways. Tackled by a host of Mustang. There you go. The host. JP says a host. The famous host. Second down. Second down and 16 from the 30-yard line. Collins rolls to his left. Got a man. Uh, he's running for his life back there. Gets a block. May get a block in the back on Britt, but there he's going to run about probably 50 yards to gain one. Hank, so Number good coverage on defense and good the pursuit the by the front. Yep, he he his clock went off and he sensed 
Nelson coming up on him. And I'll say that I thought you were about to see a block in the back, but it really wasn't one. It was set up perfectly for us to get a block in the back, but the defender wasn't real egregious. Big play for this blocker. Mustang defense. Uh, down 15 points for five minutes to go in the third quarter. Raiders are going to take their time running this play. Uh, coming to the line with 10 seconds to go. Collins brings his team up. With Mustangs the shotgun. really want to stop. Uh, they're going back with Archie in the backfield. Uh, had a good. I could see a screen here, and it is. Was it ever a screen? It was speed. not one. Uh, there we go. Great, great pressure. Coverage, coverage. Not a sack, but that was all on the coverage. Good, excellent. Good defense, Mustangs. He uh, rolled. He's rolling. His favorite roll is to his opposite uh, side, is to his left side, and. Uh, He's doing a lot of running and uh, keeping the play alive, but the Mustangs are hanging tough in the back defensive backfield as well. Yeah, everybody did what they were supposed to do. And uh, again, that's a you know you got to give the coverage guys there in your defensive backfield a lot of credit on that one. Swally back to punt. He's gonna get out of the way. Number eleven, Brock. There you go. The Mustangs will take over right at the forty-yard line, their own forty-yard line. Nice defensive stop there. Yeah. Created big negative yardage. They had a, a see, no, they had a they had a hold there, uh, but the Mustangs uh, kept them in that negative yardage from. So Mustangs get a long 57-yard touchdown run by Dane Sanford and come out with a uh, was effectively a three and out. I guess they ran a play with a penalty, but um, come come out with trips to the right. Drew Lamb in shotgun, takes a snap, give his to Sanford, and he's got a lot of white jerseys, but he still gets positive yards, as Dane is prone to do. Dane Sanford, the ball carrier. He's chased out of bounds by number nine, Mike Mustangs. Whittington. Get across the 50 to the 40. Six-yard gain, second down. No. No, could cross the 45 to the 46. Yeah, I think that wasn't a 10-yard run. I was hoping it was. I was hoping I'd miss something. <laughs> second down and four. 439 remains on the clock in the third quarter. Mustangs keep trips to the right. Sanford gets the ball again, and number four there for Porter Harrell uh, read that well. He was came in unblocked and um, wisely went low on Dane to tackle him. I decided going low on him might be a good idea. Dane took about one or maybe two steps before he was getting his feet taken out from under him. So four came up from the uh, let's see from the rover position, I guess that is outside linebacker. Right. Mustang stay in the trips, and Drew Lamb's back to pass and throws it, and it's picked off yeah. uh, by number 34, and he steps out of bounds at about the 40-yard. He just um, telegraphed that a little bit. Yeah. Bank on the interception for the 24 Raiders. just uh, he he sensed where the ball was coming. C.J. Banks. C.J. Banks sensed where the ball was coming and was right there when it was delivered. I think if I could look back on that, that we – I agree with you. may have been obvious where Drew was going. Jerry's going to take over at the pillar 40-yard line. So, after a big defensive stop, Mustangs um, have a turnover and are going to have to bow up again on defense here. Brantley Rogers, Hayden Pillar, Britt Reichley across the front. Linebackers Walker Wood, Tate Gailey, and Dane Sanford. Raiders go with number four in the backfield, and he is uh, makes a good cut to the right side and found a hole and cut back and got to about the number 20, four, 31 yard line. Raider Harrell. He dropped so down close to first down yard, but just Mickelson. short. It'll be second down in about a yard. Brock Makeson on the tackle for the Mustangs. Brings so up second down. Chewing up some yards on the ground here, Hank. Yeah. Too much. Collins takes the ball across the left side and he bounces off the tackle, but uh, Mustangs are there to bottle him up. Probably going to be enough for the first down, if I had to guess. Yeah, they're going to give him 30, uh, the 29 yard line. So we'll be a first down. On the carry. That, we defended that much better. He's tackled tackled, tackled well there. Finished. Number seven, Walker Wood. Four's a good athlete. Porter Harrell. That'll be a first down. 170 pound wide receiver, defensive back, 12th grader. 
First time we've seen him carry the ball tonight. On the Mustang. Those timeouts are burning a hole in the Mustangs' pockets again. They'll spin one with 321 remaining in the third quarter. They'll be down to two timeouts. J.A. has all timeouts remaining. You know, you, it'd be, it's pretty critical, though, to let your feet defense somehow find a way to make a stand here and keep this a, a two. Yeah, it's a two-possession two uh, game, game right now. If you let them stretch it to three, it becomes harder and harder every time you do that to get the ball and then make stops. Uh, they um, have had one turnover tonight, but they hadn't been uh, – they held they protected the football well um, as many times as they've run it and thrown it. Ladies and gentlemen, if there's still any mums available for purchase, please see Heather Johnson down on the track. Each mum is $20. Yes. So first down and 10 for the Raiders at the Mustang 29-yard line, 321 to go in the third quarter. Collins is going to have Mitchell to his right. Bunch uh, set. He fakes it, not sure he wanted to give that to him or not, but he's uh, running around and he's got a man a wide open. And they're going to call a rough in the passer if I'm not – well. Colin pass is called by number 19. I Merit thought that Nathan. was uh, – That's good they, for they threw it into where the, the quarterback was uh, – let the ball go, but they wide are all waving him back. So, uh, probably going to be a hold. I, I don't know what, I don't know this what is. he's doing. He's done that a couple times. I'm not sure what that call is, but I uh, like it right now. Yeah, so uh, Collins just sat there and bought his time, bought his time. As you said, he likes to move to his left, and that receiver came across the came all end the way zone across, yeah. Yeah, and had, had John Heston beat by a good four or five yards. And he had a long time to cover in John Heston. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying he, he, he made that happen by buying time and then found his man, but – in any case, they did something they shouldn't have done, and that is the largest penalty I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I, it that must have been – it's going to have to – where they threw it, it was going to have to be right close to where he threw it. Yeah. So, that's going to back them up to the 49-yard line. So, effectively a 20-yard penalty. First and 30. Right. What's your play call? Give this to Mitchell. Ooh. He's going to be tackled there by Walker Wood. Gets close to the 45 and the 46. So on the carry. Mustangs are fortunate there with that those points coming he off the board. Not seven, only that, Walker they pick Wood. up 20 yards of field position, bring up second, second down. down and 26. Things are a little different there. <clears throat> They'll be looking for a pass play here. Mustangs show three men. Looks like everybody else are staying at home. Collins rolls to his right this time. Sets up and uh, doesn't like what he sees. Being Pulls pressured it back by down. Walker Wood. Walker throws it. Uh, Walker, good tackle there by Nelson Hodges. Nelson Hodges. Doesn't let the receiver get the uh, yards after Collins the catch. Really nice 16, coverage there. Thomas and, and good tackle once he had to go to his underneath man. Nelson was right there to make the tackle. They bring up third down and 19 for the Raiders. The tackle for the Mustangs. Ball's going to the 38 yard line. Third down. Big third down here. Yeah, they like to throw the ball. Down. It's a big third down in a couple of ways to stop them, obviously, but to not let them pick up enough to where they have a better shot of getting it on fourth down because you're in four-down territory. You know, like timeout. Uh, timeout. Timeout Raiders. The Raiders. So, touchdown comes off the board, and you back them up 20 yards. Uh, I've heard a worse thing. That's right. <laughs> now it's uh, third down and 19, 156 to go in the third quarter. Raiders spend their first timeout. They uh, understand how big this third down is. They want to extend this lead. Uh, and like you said, they will, may want to get it inside a third. If they get it inside the 30, I feel like they're going to throw the ball. They may go for it twice yeah. here. They may just be planning on two plays right here. Yeah, it should be a pass play. And if it's incomplete or if we were to get some negative yardage, you might the see them punt. The game, the fifth quarter will take My guess is they're going to do something Massachusetts to try to pick up enough yardage to make it a manageable fourth down. Well. 
I hope your weather at your home is as nice as it is here at Bill Davis Field tonight. And maybe you're you're joining us uh, sitting out outside and out enjoying a beautiful band. low humidity night. Because here it's it's very pleasant. Collins with a backfield. Uh, oh, they're going to throw it. They've got a man uh, down there and just overthrew him. Over that was the same uh, same player that caught the touchdown in the That's first half. That was number 19, Derek Nations, and he had a step on John Heston. Yeah. But I think they figured out that Derek uh, uh, Merritt Nations can outrun John Heston, <laughs> and but John Heston down. can jump higher than him, That's and he's right. taller than him. So they're going at John Heston on those, and we were fortunate there that a little bit of an overthrow. They're going to back up to punt. Scott Swally is going to punt from about midfield. Uh, Raiders are going to play field position here, or it appears they're going to. Hayes Bennett is back to receive the punt, and he gets the end over end. That's going to be that should back up. No, oh, goodness. Takes a Raider bounce. going to be right at the, about the seven-yard line. So I'd like to see him do that again. It was <laughs> ball was spinning backwards, and it bounced forward. Yeah, that was uh, – Appeared to defy the law of physics, ain't it? It did. <laughs> Bad bounce. Um, so it is set at the eight yard line. Mustangs will take over there, 147 to go. Jonathan is 62 degrees here in Greenwood. Mustangs take over at their own eight-yard line to give us to Sanford, and he pushes forward for uh, maybe five. We've got a cramp. Dane's down with a cramp. And they do hurt. I was you were bragging about the weather and you talked to me no, no, a no, cramp. I know, but I was holding my breath because the way he acted, he had a cramp, but I was waiting for him to lift that leg right. up to show us that it was only a cramp. Dane takes it out to the 13-yard line. So when the uh, Mustangs will have this ball with a second down and about five. You, you know, we don't give enough credit to, to – how many players are going both ways on every down right. for the Mustangs? And I certainly have seen some of that with J.A., but not as much. We've got Thank guys that are ladies and gentlemen. being asked to perform at a high level that are playing every single down. You know, the one that – your quarterback is about the only one that doesn't do it, and he certainly can do it. Yeah. He has played defensive end in the past and would be an option to, to do that. I don't know of another uh, – just looking out there, all of these kids are playing – uh, offense and defense, you're right. My niece from Boston says our weather is definitely better than hers. Oh. She she would take 62 in low humidity. So Dane uh, is going to walk over and get some water. Uh, Drew Lamb is going to take the shotgun snap. Hayes is coming across in a bad snap, but Drew is going to pick it up and uh, be tackled right there at the three. That was a poor time for a bad snap. Bad snap for the Mustang. One of those plays you just can uh, ill afford to have this deep in your own territory. Third down and 15. Ball's going to be yeah. back at the three. Significantly changes what plays you can call here. If sure does. Avoid giving don't... the safety up. you got to get some yards so you're not punting out of your own end zone. Your punter is uh, over here on the sidelines getting wrapped. So that's uh, – and we're going to bump into each other, and Drew Lamb is going to get the ball out. I don't think he fumbled it. I think he set it on the ground. They're going to call it a touchdown. I don't agree with that call, I Hank. Think he, I think he lost it. Yeah, I think he lost it. So, it goes from bad to worse on that drive. Uh, Sanford goes out with a cramp. Uh, on bad the snap to the three. For the and uh, Drew's tr trying to do too much there probably, Hank, and uh, puts the ball on the ground and uh, touchdown. The way his Raider. body was contorted, I'm not going to blame him for fumbling the ball, but. He was just trying to get out of the end zone. I think he was trying to guess right. He was trying yeah. to get it across the goal line. So, in the uh, effort to save two points, they get six. But So, the six they had taken off are back on. That's right. <laughs> and it looks like nothing happened. Let's get 
JA kicker number 13, Scott Wally, continues his perfect night. He kicks the ball very nicely. That's his seventh PAT. Uh, excuse me, sixth PAT. I was trying to do some math there. <laughs> and uh, kicks the ball, kicks the ball nicely. Scott Swally, senior. Yeah, you pointed out on the roster they do have a, a helping of folks with 12 by their name, meaning they're a, a senior this year, class of 2022. 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Mustangs are um, running out of possessions here. Uh, going to be down by 22. Uh, but they uh, have not stopped fighting, and I'm uh, – I'm pleased with that, Hank. I think the, you, you mentioned in the first quarter they go down 14 to nothing, and it was gut check time. And since then they've played, uh, gone toe to toe with them for yeah. the most part. What's missing is your offensive running game. It's just not been there tonight for the Mustangs. Not consistently, That's at least. Right. But your passing game has had some bright spots. Yeah, I think there's. Um, some and, takeaways from that. Yeah, and where the passing game has failed, it was because of the pressure, which is the same reason we're not able to run the ball. J.A. is, is winning the line of scrimmage more often than not. Swally uh, is going to kick it deep again. Good-looking kick. I think it's going to fall short of the goal line, so Nelson will have another opportunity for a return. Got some good blocking up front. The clo hole yeah. closes up fast, though. Yeah, if he had cut it, he, he was still tiptoeing a little bit. Nelson Hodges on he the needed to cut it up. Thing. He had a little bit of daylight over here on the near side to us, but either didn't see it or maybe it wasn't as open as I thought. That's right. I thought he had a little gap there. See if Dane goes back out there. He's not right now. Unless you see him. I don't see him out there. I don't there. see Dane out there now. Walker Wood at fullback. Nelson over here at right tailback. High snap handled by Lamb. Nelson's going to get across to 20, maybe a yard. Nelson Hodges with the ball for the Mustang. He brought down by number 21. Maxwell maybe the last up. play of the third quarter. No gain. Take it down. So as we move into the fourth quarter, we'll uh, run a few ads and uh, be back for the final quarter of the night. I may be an orthodontist, but I know a thing or two about... Perfect. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an Allstate agent. Are you in good hands? It's harvest time for farmers across the state of Mississippi. So into the tractors and off to the fields they go. And that means you might come face to face with one on your rural roadways. For their safety and yours, please slow down and give these tractors and other farm equipment the space they need. You may even have to move off the road for a moment. Just like you, they want to do their job and return safely to their homes and their loved ones. This message brought to you by your Delta area Farm Bureau families. Ready to get your and we are back. Final 12 minutes of the ball game tonight. Uh, Mustang's going to have a second down and about 10. Nelson in the backfield with Drew Lamb. Drew's back to pass and uh, he's getting chased to his left and he's going to be brought down hard at the 10 yard line by a couple of Raiders. An Ole Miss Louisville game that have been targeting. Do you remember the, the Ole Miss Louisville game where they got in that stretch of all those targetings? Right. It, w it wouldn't have been, but the, the third guy to hit him came in pretty aggressively as he was going down. Right. Third down and 20. Mr. Benushiewicz is craving <laughs> a sweet snack from the cheerleaders. He's got spirit. He's got spirit. He's trying to show his spirit, <laughs> but he's also being respectful of you at home and that yelling in, in our ear. Nelson's going to take it, uh, fight forward for about three or four yards near 
be enough for a first down. The question is, is our punter will bring in our – It's like Juan Carlos is going to go in. Okay. Hmm. You know, it certainly looked like a cramp that Dane went out on, and I may be just something as, you know, given the score. He's standing on the sidelines there. Yeah, I mean, I just think he may just be going to protect him a little bit given what we have coming up. So Juan Carlos is going to punt uh, first attempt of the year, to my knowledge. To my knowledge as well. Gets the snap, and that should roll the way we think it's going to, and it does. Excellent job by Juan Carlos. He's going to pick it up at the five and run straight down the 50-yard line looking for a hole. Uh, Look at Tate Gailey. Look at Tate Gailey. (laughs) Tate is – oh, flag comes from uh, back here at the 10-yard line, Hank, and I don't know what he saw. Imagine it's going to be – Blocking the back. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, Gailey on the tackle for the Mustangs. Juan, Juan, I'm wondering if Juan Carlos got cheap shot again. Maybe not. I don't know. He just uh, Tate is becoming uh, an expert at the up high tackle. Well, it, it, it's like a wrestling <laughs> move that you see on. He makes well, more than he, he completes the tackle more than he uh, misses it going up like that. But it was against it. But it was this thing again, the the knuckle punching uh, <laughs> signal. Against yeah, I'm going to have to review my – if anybody um, – Against J.A. Illegal J. block on the Raiders. Illegal block is what J.P. calls it. Okay. J.P.'s never wrong. No, not when there's a penalty against the Raiders. That's another big penalty. Uh, he was at the 50-yard line, Hank, and that's another 20-yard yeah. penalty. I don't I don't know. Uh, you should, I need to you're a lawyer. 20, you're, you to, should review the rules and let me the, know. The 20-yard penalties. So, Collins is going to take it. I would imagine you're going to see a lot of runs here. Eli, uh, that's Archie, I believe. Ethan Archie. Brought down over there by uh, maybe Ethan John Archie Heston and uh, Lawson Steed. Gain of. So, Jay's going to. Let's see. Get it out to the 33 yard line. Collins gives it to Archie again. Um, Britt Rockley had the hand on the ball, but he couldn't shake it loose. Going to get out to the 42-yard line, left for a first year. down. He's stopped by number 50, J.C. Girard, and 52, Britt Rockley. First down for the Raiders. Ball. Uh, ball is snapped, and he picks it up, and he's got a man open again. This is 19, and uh, that's one of those that just <laughs> – Hurts you and you feel bad. Oh, you see, when the you know when the ball gets snapped, the Tate takes his eye, and you know, yeah, just a you're second, gonna eyes will be second. in the backfield, and and he fielded it cleanly. That's right. And then right he's a good quarter. Him. He looked up and said, "How many people are coming at me?" And saw his man streaking up the field. Not sure he even saw him. He just threw it, you know. And he yeah. had the guy that was a good throw, second touchdown of the night for Archie. So uh, the Raiders are. Uh, Stretching it out here on the Mustang. It's going to take it up to 48 to – that's going to be a 58-yard touchdown pass. Yeah, on top of a 54-yarder right before the half. Right. So, Merritt Nations. And a fumble recovery in the end zone. That's right. 58 yards. Uh, well, he kick. kicked he that sure ball can. a mile. Wally kick is good. Golly, Swally. <laughs> so, 49 to 20 uh, with 9.35 to go in the ball game. Uh, you know, the uh, – couple, uh, couple of bounces that went the wrong way for the Mustangs tonight. That one in the, the fumble recovery there in the end zone after the, the bad snap. Yeah, and that, like you said, that ball just kind of popped right up to him. And oh, yeah. he didn't panic and um, slung it. He didn't have to look for it. He, and I think he stood up to see what was going on. And, you know, Tate, it only takes a second, particularly when you know the quarterback can run well, it only takes a second for him to react to that, and, and their player kept on going. Well, and uh, Nations has made a couple of Mustang defensive backs. Uh, he's gotten behind a couple of them tonight, so he's um, – Certainly capable of running under one when they uh, they outthrew him one time. They probably would have had three touchdowns. Yep. He's fast. 
Mustangs deep to receive is Nelson uh, with Nelson's going to take it, bring it over to the near side, cut it up. Good looking cut and uh, good tackle there by number 34. The Raiders saved a saved a big gain. Nelson, Nelson slow to get up. The return for the Mustangs. Going to be down at the 29 30, yard line. Walker. See if the Mustangs can get something moving here on offense. Still looks like they'll be without Dane Sanford. Got uh, John Heston, Matthew Nemi. 42, is that Solon or Andrew? That's Andrew. Andrew Brock and Brock Makepson. Four wide receivers in for the game, and that is uh, he's going to give it to Hayes, and Hayes is going to run it around the right end, and uh, good tough run in there to about the 35-yard line. Hayes Bennett on the carry. He dropped down by number 20, Brister Robertson. So you got Nelson and Six yard game. Dane, and you Six wonder Hank, if they're going to uh, keep those two out. Nelson looked a little bit uh, shaken up on that kickoff return. And, uh, this one doesn't have much uh, much doubt left in it. Not giving up, but that's right. Drew Lamb, the you got to have your those two guys healthy for the for the rest of the schedule and. That'll be first down for the Mustang. If they're first injured down, or, or hurt a little bit, no point in putting them in. That's right. Um, I know those two guys want to be out there, but it just uh, may be the right decision at this point in the game. You're down by 29 with 8.30 to go. You fought hard. Um, nothing to hang your head about, but no. you just got to kind of live to fight another day, and that's what the Mustangs are going to do. So Drew Lamb's going to stay with Hayes Bennett in the backfield. Four wide receivers set. Going to give two Hayes, and he uh, gets around the right end and turns on the Jets and uh, lowers his head at about the 35-yard line into Raider territory, and now he's going to be slow to get Hayes up. Bennett, the ball carrier for the Mustangs. I think he's okay. Yeah, he, he takes just... down at number five, Trey Adams. Again, first down, Mustang. Taking down hard to the ground there. Oh, it's going to be a 22-yard run. Good positive yardage by the Mustangs. Mustangs going to take this clock down to eight minutes uh, before they snap the next one. Snap is to Drew Lamb, and he fights uh, forward for about two, maybe down to the 34-yard line. You know, we talked Drew about kind of using this game as a measuring stick. Whether you think three, Hartfield and J.A., we'll find out how those two teams match up. But, um, well, but yeah, I think we've uh, fought a lot harder after we got down tonight. I think we've uh, obviously made some improvements just in our execution and our, our defensively, especially tonight. Uh, you know, 49 points is hard to brag on the defense, but it is. It, it has been the case. Uh, well, you, it's – the 49 points on the defense, one of them they didn't give up, one of the touchdowns. Drew Lamb keeps the ball. And two of them were bombs. Well, and one of them was, and one of them was short yardage. Yard. Yeah. Defense played fine. Third down. I'm going to see if I can articulate this. I think we would have done better against Hartfield if we had already played J.A. Maybe so. Um, just the speed difference, having worked against a, a pass. Right. Uh, I think that – that J.A. and Hartfield will be a competitive football game. Lamb gives it to Hayes Bennett. Oh, that's uh, a bit of a late hit, but they uh, – Number 21, Hayes Bennett yeah. on the carry. Not sure what number nine Hayes. was upset about. Hayes had the ball. I think he was upset that Hayes ran over him. Um, well, he didn't run over him. ran over his teammate. Yeah, he ran over his teammate. That's right. Uh, but certainly perfectly clean play by Hayes, not so much on number nine. Right. In, anyhow, I think that um, I think that J.A.'s a foot, good football team. Hartfield's a really good football team. And uh, I'm certainly more proud of our effort here tonight because over there it just kind of seemed like we got out of sync and we just stayed out of sync. Here we've battled back and have done everything in our power to make this game competitive. Right. Mustangs will punt the ball. Just had some bad breaks. With six minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Juan Carlos is going to be back there to punt again. And it's a good thing it was stopped because it was about to go over Juan Carlos's head. Juan Carlos is a small target to hit 
with the long, for the long snapper. <laughs> yes, you got to get it down. But he probably could. about seven inches difference <laughs> between right. the other guy that punts. Uh, did Mustangs call timeout? They're down to one left in this game. You got a score from Heritage, Hank? Let me see if I can check with my resources. Do you know anybody? Do they answer your phone calls if you check well, on anything? I do Heritage? know people. They just don't seem to know me. <laughs> Mustangs will come back out in their punting formation. I don't know what kind of arm Juan Carlos has, but I'm guessing we're going to punt it. It's not a fake unless we short snap it to Nelson here. There we go. Good snap. Punts Good away. Kick. Nice punt. Hmm. Needed a little more. Yeah, he was aiming it for the corner there and got it in the corner a little too quick, to the sideline too quick. Mustangs will come out on defense. Looks like some fresh jerseys coming out. Uh, let's start to think about what's what's lays before us here in the rest of the season, and next week we'll travel over to Bio Academy. That'll be a very important conference game, and then we'll come back here on October the 8th and host Starkville for our last game at home. Regular scheduled game. I was going to say, hopefully not the last yeah, one, but it's exactly. the last regular season game. And then Washington uh, at Washington on October the 15th, and we'll conclude the regular season at Heritage. And what you really, your goal is to go into Heritage undefeated in the conference and make that for uh, the, the conference championship and for the uh, number one seed or a, a draw, a bye, excuse me, right. in the playoffs. Number four. It's going to be Porter Harrell going to be tackled there by a large group of Mustangs. I see Andrew Black on the bottom there. Number 15 is going to be, let's go to my roster here, 15 is going to be Trey Schmitz. Uh, who else is down there getting up first? Uh, or Porter last? Harrell on the carry for the Raiders. It's going to be Walker Wood. He dropped down. Charlie Walker Robbins Walker Wood. is in. Andrew One Black is in. Take it down. Luke Hyde is at nose guard. Tate Gailey, I mean, Tate Dubar has moved into the free safety position. That is number three, Archie. And Tate Gailey is holding on and get some help from his other guys, 66. Preston Blaylock, 88, is in there. Uh, 42. 66, Brantley Rogers is in there. 42 is Andrew Brock. Walker Wood's still in. Number and 15, Tate Dubar has moved over to safety out of the corner position. Good job, 74, Luke Hyde, I yeah, believe, holding strong, on for dear life. Big, strong fellow, Luke, Luke is. Luke's he's originally from the Jackson area, I believe he. Along with 18. I don't know if he went to MRA Gailey. or to JA, one of the two. Back it down. Ball placed at the 40, uh, 37. The Raiders at their own 37. Uh, they're going to quick call the. Young Mustangs got caught <laughs> being too aggressive Eager. there. So that'll move the ball up to the 42. 421 to go in the contest. Offsides on the Mustangs. Now, if you had asked me, would you take a 49-20 loss, I would say absolutely not before the game. Sure. But to see this team um, play some good defense at times and some good offensive times. And if you look at this is not a 29-point game. Right. Um, by any stretch of the imagination. It, for most of the game until here at the end, it was a, a two-touchdown game, sometimes one touchdown. On the on the Raiders. Raiders have changed quarterbacks, gone to their back, uh, I guess the second string. Is Clayton 64, White, 6'170", junior. Uh, still got uh, Devin D Denham Mitchell uh, carrying the ball. Uh, first down, 352. Yeah, you, you know, coach is never going to say, we're going out looking for more victories. But yeah. you're also – uh, got to play the next week, and you've got to find them when you're showing them film the next week yeah. and saying, here's what we did right, here's what we did wrong, and here's, uh, you know. 
Those Mustangs fighting in there. Luke Hyde with the sack. There you go. I'd love to see Luke Number Hyde get, get aggressive and, and get more excited about playing football because he's a big boy. Right. Uh, could use him on that front, defensive front there. Backs up to the 40-yard line. Going to be second down Lost at 17. Seven yards. Second down. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go. Clayton White takes the shotgun snap, gives to Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell is uh, brought down there by Walker Wood, finished off by Walker Wood. And uh, who else is over there? You know, Mitchell Preston, like uh, maybe. He dropped down. But you ask about Heritage. Uh, they they win against Bio. Final down. score 42 to 14. Game was played at in Columbus. Yeah, do you know the, your your field names? Reichley Stadium? Not, no, 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 not even close. C.L. Mitchell Field. <laughs> How could you not know that? C.L. Mitchell. Yeah. I'm sorry. Every time I've been over there, it's a game I'd uh, soon forget. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Charlie Robbins uh, tries to make the tackle on number 16. He shakes the drift tackle and going to get first down yardage into Mustang territory about the 45-yard line. C.L. Mitchell Field. So we'll be there in a few weeks. We'll be there in a few weeks. You know, hopefully, and emerge from it as. What I understand is what you're going to do is you got three divisions, and the top, the, the winners of each three divisions will be seeded uh, one, two, and three, and then you've got a fourth team. I call it a wild card, if you will, mm -hmm. and that fourth team can come from any of those divisions and be the other four, other team that gets a bye. Yes, and that's based on power points. Right. And then you've got teams five through twelve. We'll play the first week. Teams one through four will have three, to Ethan buy the Rocky, first week. So, the um, and there are four teams 20, Robin, that don't – there are only four teams that don't go to the playoffs, seven, if we Wood. counted correctly when we were coming back from Columbia. I think so. I think yeah. there's four teams that don't make the playoffs. Certainly don't envision that being the case with the Mustangs. Uh, you want to be – you want to have a bye or you want to be playing at home at a very high seed when the playoffs come around. That's right. Clayton White's pass goes incomplete over to number 38, intended for Colby Archie. Incomplete if things go as we as we Colby hope, uh, we certainly would Third down. would expect, uh, as you pointed out, uh, our last uh, home game here in the regular season on October 8th would not be our last chance to play at Bill Davis Field this year. Archie's going to take the ball, um, carry some Mustangs close to the 20-yard line. Uh, clock's going to get inside a minute and a half to go. Yeah, we're not now. We're not getting Marcus Harris, but we're getting Archie on the carry. we're getting Denham and Archie, by uh, Denham Mitchell and, and uh, Along with number 74, Ethan Archie. Luke these young these younger fellows That'll are getting a chance to tackle some Raiders. big, strong running backs for JA still. See Denham Mitchell's back in the game. Mitchell takes the ball, going to be tackled. He fumbles. They're calling it down. Calling it Walker down. Wood got a good stop there. Clock's going to keep Mitchell running towards a minute. He tackled by number seven, Walker Wood. I don't think the Mustangs are going to call timeout. Uh, the no Raiders are probably going to wait Take this one down. out. Um, number 10. For the Mustangs, goes out there is Joiner Hayes. It's not going to be the final play of the game. Second down, Clayton White takes the snap. Gives to Mitchell. Uh-oh. And uh, get that ball. St stood up there about the 15-yard line. Clock's going to be Mitchell about 20 here. seconds to go. I don't think they're going to run any more He's plays. I think that's going to do Michael it here for Bill Davis Field. Uh, 49 to 20. Brock. So, um, Mustangs gave up 49 at home field, but this 49 feels a lot more um, more impressed with this game. Sure. Uh, I am uh, to encouraged by what we Brock. have to ahead of us. Uh, you take this game film. 
and you pick apart the plays you want to show uh, what you're proud of. Florida and Florida and, uh, congratulations. This is going to be the, this is the best team we're going to play for quite a while. Well, yeah, I mean, it should be the best team that was left on our schedule. Heritage may be, uh, may be a very good team. I don't know that they're, they're as good as this team. But uh, we have improved each and every game. This game ends up being 49-20, to 20, but certainly not a 29-point differential for most of the game. And your only concern is that your offense wasn't able to run the ball, but uh, outside of that, your defense played pretty well. Need to get off some blocks and, and shut down the running game. But all in all, I think the best thing I saw tonight was we defended the pass pretty well against some good receivers and good quarterbacks. A couple of busted, broken plays there. Uh, was a difference. Gave up a, a touchdown. That, and with your injuries, uh, that you've got some kids, some experience against a team like J.A., yeah. and you bring the other guys back and you, you get a little yeah. deeper uh, and can uh, get some guys uh, – uh, ready to play next week, uh, hopefully be a little more healthy. Uh, hopefully the guys that sat out the fourth quarter tonight are just uh, precautionary and yeah. uh, won't be any trouble moving forward. I so. certainly hope that's the case. I expect that's the case. And, look, everything that this team wants to accomplish is before it. Still in front of it, that's uh, right. And, um, again, this team has gotten better all year long. And uh, I look for good things in the next four ball games we have. That's right. We'll be in Cleveland on the road the next week, next Friday night. Hopefully it's as pretty as night tonight as it is. I hope it is as pretty next week as it is tonight. So uh, safe travels home for our homecoming crowd and safe travels home for J.A. And Hank, uh, for, for Hank Reichley, Jonathan Mills, John Benuzowitz, and Hartley Kittle. Uh, see you guys next week.